Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are sitting now. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to increase the volume of my voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Only the living can praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My people have a saying, I will speak, say it in English, that we planned for the day and the day has come. We've been so excited about this revival conference. And I want to see the excitement as we stand up and begin to thank God for a day like this and for what he has planned to do. Raise up your voice to the God Almighty who has spared you and I to see this day, to see this hour for what he's set to do. Let's begin to praise God. Let's begin to thank him for who he is. Let's worship him in the beauty of holiness and the splendor of his love. Let's exalt the name of the Lord this evening. Let's exalt him. Only the living, only the living, mark my words, only the living can praise the Lord. Praise the Lord here at 2.30, we will see. Praise the Lord with your voice. Praise the Lord with your clap. Praise the Lord with your shout. Praise the Lord for he is good. He is kind. He is wonderful. He has spared us to see this day. So much has gone into the planning and organization for this program. And the day has come. The hour has come. And we are partakers already because the Lord who sees the end from the beginning is here with us. And we begin to exalt his name. We begin to worship him. We begin to declare that he is God. He is the one who rules and reigns in the affairs of man. And he is here with us. He's ruling and reigning the Holy Spirit on our inside. We are the living temple of the Most High God. And so we have come to him. We have come to meet with the God of all creation. And we are so privileged. We are so privileged that we can call upon the name of the Lord. And we know he is at attention listening to us. Please raise your voice and talk to your maker. The one who has spared you till this very hour. Thank him and worship him. Bless his holy name. Our God is good. Our God is faithful. Our God is kind. He watches over his word to perform it. We are putting him in remembrance of the word that, his word that we stand justified this evening. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Do you know how to speak in tongues? Edify yourself in the language of the Spirit. We have come before Mount Zion, the city of the living God. We are gathered together and the Spirit of the Lord is in our midst this evening. Mandele Richetevi, Mandele Richetevi, Asi, Etele Richeti. 
We have come before the Lord who is set to revive, who is set to quicken, who is set to give us life. Is there any dead situation? We have come to the Lord, the resurrection and life. Is it your prayer life? Is it your study of the word? Is it your business? Is it your family? Is it your health? The Lord is set to give us life and quicken us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do you have your Bibles with you this evening? Let's open to the book of Hosea chapter 6 verse 2. And we will also look at Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel, we're looking at Hosea 6 verse 2. I'm going to read from the Amplified um, Classic. It says, after two days, he will revive us, quicken us, give us life. On the third day, he will raise us up that we may live before him. That is our reality tonight in the name of Jesus. He's reviving us and we have raised up to life. We're not going back to dead things in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we begin to talk to God this evening? We have come before you, the Lord, who is the resurrection and life to be quickened of you, for us to receive life, to receive life, 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 life in the name of Jesus. We receive life. In the praise and worship, we receive life. In the course of the word, we receive life. Even in the announcements, we receive life. Life, life, life in the name of Jesus. And the Lerichetavia Mosonto ye bandele Lerichetavia Mandele ye. And the Lerichetavia Mandele Lerichetavia ye. And the Lerichetavia Mosonto ye. And the Lerichetavia ye. In the name of Jesus. Let's open our Bibles to Ezekiel 37. I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with the story of um, Ezekiel and the Valley of Dry Bones. In the course of the month of July, we, we looked at that story. We watched the video and then we also listened to it. Ezekiel 37 one says, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. Tonight prophesy. Don't wait for the man of God to come in. Tonight prophesy. Dry bones shall live again. Declare, declare whatever the situation, what is your dry bone? What is your dry bone tonight? Begin to prophesy. As the Spirit gives you utterance, declare, dry bones, leave. The breath of the Lord comes within you. It's the breath of life in Genesis 2-7 that caused man to leave. Just sand and the breath of God made the difference, a living soul. The breath of life locates me today, locates my situation today. Leave. I declare life to my situation. I declare life to my health. I declare life to this church. I declare to life to every member of this church. I declare life to my pastors. I declare life to the men. I declare life to the women. I declare life to the children. I declare life to the youths and young adults in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare 
name of Son Toye Pastor Telewi Shete. Ezekiel 37 7 says, And as I prophesied, I was commanded. And I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Behold, there was a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. There will be a shaking tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be a shaking tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And bones shall come together. What is that situation? Ah, there is going to be a shaking. There is going to be a coming together in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The breath of the God of the Lord God Almighty locates us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 12 says, Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. You shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves. Ah, open graves, open eyes, open ears tonight. Ask the Lord. Don't look at me. If you're looking at me, you're wrong. Talk to the God of all creation who you have come to meet with tonight. That 15 is very, very interesting to note. Ezekiel says, the word of the Lord came again unto me. And the Lord will speak not just once, not just twice, not just twice to us tonight. He's going to talk until we hear. The word of the Lord is going to come speaking to you directly. As in no shadow of doubt, you will know that this word is for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 26 says, Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. So this is an everlasting blessing. This is an everlasting blessing. It's not a one-time event that you have come to. You have come to a landmark event that when you look back on this day, that I met with God and God met with me. He spoke his word to my life and I will never be the same again. An everlasting covenant. That is what we have come to enter into tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord will tabernacle with us tonight. The Lord will tabernacle with us tonight. And our neighbors on Whittlesea Road will know that something is happening in this temple today. And there've been several meetings in this place. I can tell you that there have been Sunday services, there have been different services in this place, but there's going to be a different one tonight. Apply yourself in the place. Don't come here just to spectate. Come with an expectation, and your expectation will not be cut off. We're just running up on the redeemed convention, which says beyond expectation, beyond what, what you can imagine, beyond what you can think. God is able and is willing to do tonight. Father, you will visit us. Lord, you will visit us as you have promised. 
as you have promised. And we hold on to your word. We hold on to your word. Father, your word, you have exalted your word above your name. And when your word is gone forth, O oh God, it accomplished that which pleases you. It doesn't come back to you void. And concerning our prayers, O oh Lord God Almighty, today, O oh God, in Shiloh Assembly, thank you for your visitation, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your visitation, Holy Spirit. And shall we begin to thank God for what he said to do? Shall we begin to thank God for the word that we are going to receive today? I mean, it's just like somebody saying, I will give you a million dollar check. When you get the check, you are excited. But when you get to the bank, amen? And the cash is in your hand, it's real, right? We are getting the check right now in the place of prayer because the manifestation is coming. Thank you, Father, Lord God Almighty, for your visitation today. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your visitation today. We will never be the same again. We will never be the same again. We will never be the same again. Father, Lord, we do not fret. We do not have any anxiety. We are thanking you, O oh God. We are thanking you in advance. We are thanking you in advance of the course of this service. Your name is glorified. Everything will be done decently and in order. No flesh will glory in your presence. You will enable your man servant to deliver your word in clarity and backed up with power in the name of Jesus Christ. Every need will be met tonight. Every need will be met tonight. Backsliders will be restored unto you. Sinners will be saved, O oh Lord God Almighty. Those seeking healing will encounter you, Jehovah Rapha. Mandeleri sete patiele rishete de mosontoye. Ama sete le rishete de mandeleri seti eva de le rishet haba sontoye. Ama sete le rishete de mandale rishete de mosontoye tale rishete. Asutoye tele rishete de mosontoye patele rishete de mosontoye. Andele rishete de mosontoye tale rishete. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the course of the month of July, we had um, time to look at having everlasting strength as women. We had as youth to look at our strength being renewed. Because it takes strength to stay in the place of prayer. It takes strength to stay in the place of being a Christian. It takes strength even to finish well. We're going to ask God. This evening, oh Lord, there's going to be an impartation. I am so excited about that already. But the strength to sustain it, that is not a one, I'm, I, that word keeps coming back to me, it's not a one-time event. It is an everlasting occurrence in your life. You look back on this day and say, God, thank you. Let's ask God for the strength to sustain the momentum that we are going to gather tonight. Let's ask God for strength. Let's ask God for strength. Strength to finish well. Stand to stay, to stay on the course. Jeremiah 12, 5, on the Amplified, um, I love reading Amplified and the message. It says, but the Lord rebukes Jeremiah's impatience, saying, if you have raced with men on foot and they have tired you out, how can you compete with horses? And if you take to flight in the land of peace where you feel secure, then what will you do when you tread the tangled maze of jungle haunted by lions in the swelling of the flooding of Jordan? So much is happening. I don't even want to give the devil any place in this. He's outside. We are in the presence of God. So much is happening outside. And we need the strength of the Most High. I always say Jesus is a finisher. Because on the cross of Calvary, he said it is finished. And if we say that we are joined heads with the Son, that is our portion. Let's ask God for strength. He's going, there's going to be an impartation. You are going to receive the word. But the strength to continue in the word, with the word, till the very end. Ask for it in the name of Jesus. It's a daily prayer. We ask for your strength, O oh God. We ask for your strength, O oh God. We ask for your divine enablement, O oh God. Samson asked for strength, but he didn't ask for strength to continue. He asked for strength to avenge himself. We are asking for strength to continue and to finish well because we have an example in our Lord Jesus Christ. 
We ask for strength, O oh God, to be strengthened in our inner man. We ask for strength, O oh Lord God Almighty, with all might. We ask, O oh Lord God Almighty, that we do not cease the place of prayer and study of the word. We ask that we do not grow weary. We are waiting upon you, O oh God. We are waiting upon you, O oh God. Mandele we say pati ele we shete de mo sonto ye tale we shete de mo sonto ye pase tele we shete de mo sonto ye tele we shete de mandele we shete ye badale we shete ye oh man sonto ye tele we shete de mo sonto ye tale we shete de mandele we shete ase tele we shete de mo sonto ye pate le we shete a man sonto ye tele we shete de mo sonto ye as we wait upon you, our strength is renewed. As we hear your word, our strength is renewed. In our inner mind, our strength is renewed. We mount up with wings as eagles. We run and we do not grow weary. We walk and we do not faint in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, man, because we know you, O oh God, because we know you, Abba Father, we are strong and we do exploits. And we are not just receiving this impartation and this word, we are not just receiving this revival to sit in our comfortable in our, in our places, but we are going to run. We are going to walk. We are going to do that which will expand the, the frontiers of the kingdom of God. Even in this land, in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like John the Baptist, our voice will not cease. We will continue to cry out. I uh, will continue to cry out that sinners will come to know you. Our neighbors will come to know you. Even our family members that have yet to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Through our lifestyle, oh God, and through the renewal and the strength that we are receiving tonight. Good afternoon. Are we ready to pray now? We're ready to pray. Are you guys ready to pray? No, 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 you're not ready to pray. This is a revival. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray until God can answer your prayer today? Are you ready? Come, let's pray. Get yourself a partner. We're going to pray today. Come, 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 come. Get yourself a partner. We're going to pray today. This is a revival. We will pray until God asks us today. We won't wait until the service starts. It starts from us. Oh, get yourself a partner. We're going to pray. We're going to pray until heaven opens for us today. We won't wait till pastor comes and say, oh, church starts. No. Revival begins from you. Let it start from you today. If you're ready, say you're ready today. If you're ready to pray, tell me you're ready to pray so we can start. The first prayer point, Father, a height that I can never dream of taking. Take me there. My Father and my God, the King of glory. Father, take me to a height, oh God, that I've never been before. Take me to a height, oh God, that I've never been before. A height, oh God, height that my father has never been. My mother has never been. Because I'm here today, oh God, take me to a new height. Take me to a new height, oh God. Let this revival, oh God, birth a new height within me. That the world will see and know that Jesus is alive. Pray unto the Father. Pray unto the Father, a height which your mother has never been, a height which your friends has never been, a height which you have never imagined. Allow God to take you today. Unless God take you, you cannot arrive. Zeros 
In Jesus' name we are praying. The next prayer point, it says, let God arise and let all your enemies be scattered today. But the reason of the, the revival, like the day of the Pentecost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon everything that does not represent the name of Christ in your life. Pray unto the Father. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let his enemies be scattered. Because the Holy One lives within you. Let everything that is battling your life cease today. Let God arise in your life today. Oh pray that let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let, God arise. let every financial let every mountain let every mountain be broken let every mountain be broken ah for who is that mountain for who is that mountain that stands before Zerubbabel the bible said it shall be made plain by the reason of the revival let every mountain that stands between you and your revival, that stands between you and your God, that stands between you and your promises, let it be broken. Oh, oh. Oh, let's pray. You can pray more. You can pray more. You can pray more. Oh, you can labor more. You can labor more. Oh, you are not serious. Huh? That because you are here today, let the God of heaven avenge you today. Ah. Ah, in Jesus name let's ask that the Lord will bring his spirit within you that in the dwelling of the spirit he will enlarge the capacity to bear more oh yes there is more there is more in the Holy Ghost there is more to him ah, he's not just a man but he can become a friend he can dwell within men it's only when he dwells he can make you Ask the Lord to, that the Holy Spirit would dwell within you. Let him fall like the day of Pentecost. Let the Holy, the Holy Spirit fall upon you like the day of the Pentecost. Let fire of revival birth within you. Oh, pray that the fire of revival will be birthed within you. That the Holy Ghost, he will arise and dwell within you. Let him fall. Let the Holy Ghost fall upon you. Oh, pray. Oh God, like the days of Pentecost, like the days of Pentecost, oh God, let that day fall today, let that day become today, let that day become today, 
let the fire of the Almighty rest within me. Let the Holy Ghost dwell within me. That in you dwelling within me, O God, you shall make me the way you make men, O God, make me as you have made them before. O God of heaven and earth, dwell within me. Dwell within me. Let the Holy Ghost dwell within you like the days of Pentecost. Because this is a revival, let the fire of the Holy Ghost dwell within you. Let it so burn within you that whatever that doesn't name the name of Christ in your life, that because of the Holy Ghost, it shall be, it shall be broken. Oh God, help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us, oh God. 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 Oh. Yes. In Jesus' name we are praying. You will this next prayer you will pray for your partner, and your partner will pray for you. Fresh baptism, oh God. Fresh baptism. Baptize me, O oh God. Baptize me in fire. Not just in water, O oh God. The Bible said Jesus did not begin to do his exploits until the Holy Ghost came upon him. Don't go out of here until you receive the Holy Ghost. Don't leave until you know you have met him. Don't leave until you know he is here. A fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost. The one you had before is there. But the one now a fresh one within a vessel there's nothing he cannot do within the vessel that he dwells within pray for your partner that they will receive the holy ghost a fresh baptism of the holy ghost my father and my god by the reason of the anointing because of who i'm here with now i pray oh god a fresh baptism of God. A fresh baptism of God. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. Baptism of the Holy Ghost of God. He shall not remain the same of God. He has came one way. But in returning, he shall not return the same. Oh God of heaven. A fresh baptism, a fresh baptism of God, baptism of the Holy Ghost, baptism of the Holy Ghost, baptism of the Holy Ghost. Lord, take us deeper, take us deeper, take him deeper, oh God, deeper than he's ever imagined, deeper, oh God. Let him drink from this well, let him drink from this well, the well that never runs dry. Oh, my father and my God, a fresh baptism, oh, a fresh baptism, my father and my God, a fresh baptism that cannot return the same the way they have came, oh God. Dwell within them, oh God. Take them to new heights, oh God. Take them deeper, oh God. A fresh baptism, oh God. Baptize them in fire. Oh yes, in Jesus' name. Let's pray for ourselves. Let's pray for ourselves. <laughs> Are you ready to pray? Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's pray. And Father. That Father, I consume me with your fire. Let everything that doesn't name the name of Christ burn today. That until I burn for you, nothing else ceases to burn. That until I burn for Jesus, nothing ceases to burn in my life. 
that in the burning of God, everything that doesn't name the name of Christ, let it cease today. Let it cease today. Whether it's an altar, whether it's a family issue, whatsoever that takes the name of Christ in your life, that by the reason of the anointing, let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn everything that seems to take his place in your life. That today there won't be any distraction. It's you and him. It's you and him until the very end. Pray unto God that everything that seems to take your place in my life, that's not of you, take it away. Take it away. I cannot remain the same. I cannot remain the same, oh God. My generation cannot look at me the same as they did before. Oh God, help me. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, my Father and my God. Help me not to return the same way I came. Dwell within me. Let everything that seems to take your place in my life, let it be removed, oh God. Remove it for my sake. Remove it for my sake. Remove it, oh God, and cause a generation to look upon me with your grace and your mercy. Let this generation, oh God, smile upon me. Let this generation get to know Christ through you. That everything that seeks to take his place in your life is not worthy. It's not worthy to stay. It shall not stay. That whatsoever distraction that seeks to take the place of God, whatsoever commodity it may be, let it be removed. Ask him to remove it. That unless you become the governor of my life, unless you choose to govern my life, I cannot govern my own life. I cannot move until you move, oh God. I cannot speak until you speak, oh God. Who, is, who am I without you? Who is this vessel without you, oh God? I'm just a man. I'm just a woman, oh God. Yes, it is true. But God, by your mercy, dwell within me. Remove everything, oh God, that seeks to take your place in my life, in this generation. Help us, oh God. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's ask the Lord, whatsoever that's stopping me from getting to my breakthrough tonight, let it be removed by fire. It may have been stubborn before, but today is a day that the Lord has made. Then we shall be glad to be made in it. The Lord, what stopped me before will not stop me today? Pray unto the Lord. What stopped your father will not stop you? What stopped your parents will not stop you? What stopped your generation will not stop you? Oh, my father and my God. Daddy, I pray, oh God, that what stopped my father? What stopped my mother, oh God? What stopped my parents from serving you? Lord, help me. Let me make a difference, oh God. Let me make a difference, oh God. What stopped me 10 years ago? What stopped me five years ago? Lord, by me being here today, Lord, there shall be new fire. Lord, it shall be removed by fire. Remove it, oh God. I shall move forward ever, then backward never, oh God. Help me, oh God, by your grace and by your mercy. Help me, oh God, by your grace and by your mercy. Help me to move by fire. Help me to move by fire. Help me to move by fire. What stopped me last year will not stop me this year. What stopped me, oh God, months ago will not stop me this month. Today, oh God, I decree and I declare that, Lord, I shall break forth. That, Lord, I shall break forth. That Lord, I shall break forth. That everything that is stopping me from breaking forth, Lord, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Father, we shall break forth. We shall break forth. We shall break forth, oh God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Let's pray that the Lord will grant us a fresh encounter, a new encounter. The Lord, allow me to encounter you afresh again. The Jesus I knew today, help me to know you more tomorrow. 
Help me to know you more than I did before. A fresh encounter. Encounter of the Holy Ghost. Lord, help me. Help me. Take me to a new dimension. I don't want to be too comfortable and over familiar with you, oh God. So I come back in honor to your throne. Lord, help me. A fresh encounter. A fresh encounter today, oh God. Fresh encounter. Help me, oh God. Help me to encounter the Jesus of the Bible. The Bible says everywhere that Jesus went, he was doing good. There was no miracle Jesus performed more than two times. Those that encountered Jesus, their life was changed. They didn't just encounter Jesus, they encountered the Holy Ghost. For he dwelt within men. He dwelt within men. In the Old Testament, he dwelt upon men. But until the New Testament, he dwelt within me. Lord, I know you can dwell within me. A fresh encounter. Lord, I'm crying out to you. Help me. My destiny is crying to you. I need your help. I need your help. Unless you don't need the help of God, you can't pray. If you want, if no one to pray, you don't have to pray. But God, as for me, I need you. My destiny is beckoning on you. It's beckoning upon the Holy Ghost. I cannot rise to a new mountain until you take me there. I cannot move until you move me, oh God. There is no John without you. There is no John without you. This mouthpiece, let it become yours, oh God. Lord, I need you. I need you. Visit me, oh God. Visit me in a way that will change my life. That will change my life. That will cause a generation to celebrate you. Oh God, help me. Visit me. Visit me, oh God. Visit me. Visit my destiny. Visit my destiny. Visit my destiny, oh God. Visit my destiny. My destiny is beckoning upon you. For deep call is unto thee, oh God. Lord, you have spoken concerning my life. Help me. A new encounter. Today, oh God. Help me. Father, thank you for your visitation. Our God and King, we worship you. For there is none like you. You sit in heaven and take earth as your footstool. Father, Lord, as our prayers have ascended unto you, our worship also comes as incense, fresh incense, that it is mixed with our prayer and it comes as thunder and lightning upon the earth. Father, thank you for such a time as this as to call upon your name and seek your face. Our God and King, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You're welcome to this wonderful conference. I want you to move around. High five somebody. Greet somebody. Prophesy unto somebody. Tell somebody something good and beautiful this evening. Tell somebody you're looking wonderful. Tell somebody you're looking... Mm, a ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy notion, to show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord? Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah! Amen. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. I love the song that my sister sang. She says, We are a chosen generation called for to show its excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. How many of you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Come on, let's declare it. Oh, we are a chosen generation. Call for to show its excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know we are a chosen generation. Ration. Call for to show its excellence. All I require. I need you to declare we are a chosen generation. Chosen generation. I 
I am a chosen generation. I 
mighty God. It's a step by step I will follow you. Did you come here in vain or you came to seek him? I want you to begin to talk to him. Begin to praise him. It's a praise makes you come in through the door into the holy place. Thanksgiving makes you come into his court. Begin to exalt him this evening. Begin to adore him. Begin to tell him how much you love him. Begin to tell him how much you love him. My God, my Father, Daddy, I've come to seek your face. Daddy, I've come to seek your face. Daddy, I've come to seek your face. I surrender everything to you, God. Everything in me I give to you. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, Lord. I come, I come, I come. I come to give it all to you, Lord.
Ma 
flow from you. He says, out of our bellies shall flow substance. Rivers of living waters. Let it flow, let it flow. 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 of your own dwell amongst us and move amongst us thank you for your power thank you for your breath that you breathed into us and we became living being from that same breath it flows from us 
It flows from us to the nations. It flows from us upon the earth. And righteousness begins to cover the earth because it, when it flows, it brings down your glory. Father, we exalt you. We, your children, we love you and we worship you. We thank you for this revival because we know you are here amongst us. And once you are amongst us, you will do as you purpose. You will do as you will. Have your way, Lord, in our midst. Have your way in our midst. Thank you, Father. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. ministers or pastors and everyone I welcome you to this special program Revival Conference 2023 and as you have come tonight you will not go back home the same way in the mighty name of Jesus Almighty God will revive you in the mighty name of Jesus you have an encounter with the King of Glory tonight in the mighty name of Jesus and at this moment we'll be taking our offering we'll be taking our offering tonight we are offering for this program tonight. And um, can the ushers can give out the envelopes. If you are writing a check, you can write your check out to RCCG Shiloh Assembly. And if you want to give uh, through Zell, you can Zell to rccgsa at gmail.com. If you want to give your offering through Zell, you can Zell to 
rccgsa at gmail.com. And if you are writing a check, you can write your check to rccgsa. And God bless us as you do so. The choir will be leading us as we give our offering. The choir will be leading us as we give our offering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are worthy of all our praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted. You are the Lord most high. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. You are so good. You are worthy to You are exalted, you are the Lord most high. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy to receive our praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted, you are the Lord most high. In heaven, you are the Lord. Oh, yeah. Our Lord, you reign forever. Oh, Lord, I reign. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Has everyone given their offering? Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we pray? And so, Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you, Father, for this offering. Out of the abundance that you have blessed us with, that we have brought this token. Father, Lord, we pray. Accept our offering tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let it be used for the propagation of your work here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover this offering with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, every hand that has given tonight, that it will not, never be dry in the mighty name of Jesus. And as many that want to give and don't have, Father, Lord, we pray tonight that it open heaven unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, we are sending this offering and here and let it magnetize blessing back unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, as we have come tonight, Father Lord Almighty, to receive fresh hair, fresh fire. Father Lord, we pray, Jehovah Lord Almighty, that you visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray that as we go back to our various destinations, we will be going on rejoicing and celebrating in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can have a seat.
Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. I am not the one preaching. Um, the evangelist Lawrence Oyo is here, and um, he will soon be walking into the sanctuary. And all I just want to do is to encourage us to look unto Jesus. He's a vessel that God is going to use this evening. And we just once again want to thank each and every one of us. I know we had a worship service in the morning and we're here taking our precious time to also show up in the evening. That God that we have come to see will definitely meet individual of us at the point of our needs in Jesus' name. We'll live here with testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Just a brief introduction of the man of God, uh, the vessel that God will be using. Uh, I just first and foremost want to welcome all the pastors in the house. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I may not be able to mention everybody's name, but I know I saw Pastor Mrs. Mary Adekoju. Praise the Lord. You are welcome, man. God bless you. Um, I have Pastor Jagede also, all the way from North Jersey. Praise the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome. God bless you, sir. I have Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Abiyade. Amen. Those are my siblings. God bless you. Thank you for honoring our invitation. I have uh, Minister Tunde Ayuade. God bless you. All the way also from North Jersey. And um, I have uh, Pastor... Abigail Modi also. Amen. Thank you very, very much. All the way from Pennsylvania. All the way from Pennsylvania. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Pastor and Pastor, Mrs. Adele Bigbe. God bless you. God bless you. We have Minister Olumide Adeaga. God bless you, sir. Um, I know you are a very, very busy man and you are here. God bless you. And all the ministers from various ministries want to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much. God bless you. We appreciate you. If I don't mention your name, I am not looking down on anybody. Thank you. We appreciate you. Amen. And all the members and workers and ministers of, uh, I don't know, is it Shiloh or Shiloh Assembly? I don't know how to. I know some people call it Shiloh. Some people say it's Shiloh. Uh, permit me. I'm from uh, Africa, so I call it Shiloh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so we have um, the vessel that God is uh, using this evening is a man of God. Amen. He's husband of one wife. Hallelujah. Amen. Father of two nations. Amen. All the way from God's own country, Nigeria. Amen. Hallelujah. Evangelist Laura, your, uh, Lawrence Oyo is a passionate lover and seeker of God. Amen. And is a twin. Praise the Lord. So if you are the one trusting God for twin, please hold on to his, uh, to his uh, shirt so as to have that anointing. Amen. And is born into a family of four children. Um, the parents are also ministers of God too. Amen. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Um, Gumba Oyo. I know I used to go to God, we do it in a Bible. Praise the Lord. That's my encounter with the ministry when I was back in Nigeria. It's been a while. Amen. And they are based in Ibadan, Nigeria. And he has a strong apostolic and prophetic grace and is called to be a catalyst of revival. Praise the Lord. And we want to thank God for his wife, uh, Minister Tara Simi. You know, she used to be Miss Darasimi Magbamilu, and she's now Miss Darasimi Lawrence Oyo. And we want to say thank you, ma'am, for releasing him to be used of God and to be here today. And so without much ado, I want us to open our hearts, look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And one thing we're sure of is that as many that have encountered with the Lord Jesus, they never remain the same. Amen. And so the Lord God Almighty, we prayed, the Lord will show each and every one of us mercy in the name of Jesus. We'll leave here with testimonies in the name of Jesus. I know by the time we're done, by the time we're done today, you will of a surety, said the Lord has done me well. 
He has done great and mighty things in my life. And therefore, I rejoice and I praise God. So with God's joy, can we just, you know, honor Christ in his life? Amen. And just welcome Evangelist Lawyer Lawrence Oyo. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's celebrate Mama powerfully. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I honor all the servants of God in this house. And I want us to please celebrate Pastor Darabola very specially. And his wonderful wife. Please, you can do it. You can do that better. Please celebrate. Celebrate. Thank you so much for this privilege to stand and bless God's people. I pray in the name of Jesus that the hand of God will come upon every single person in Jesus' name. In the next few minutes or hours actually that we have, I want to um, I want you to quickly pray a prayer that will define, that will set the trajectory for this meeting. And the prayer is that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. Can we pray that seriously? I'll tell you why when I start talking, but please, I want you to say, Father, please open my eyes, open my ears, cause me to understand, remove every veil on my understanding. This time around, can you shout it, Father, open my eyes, lift your voice now, pray, 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 lift your voice now, pray. One more minute. I thought somebody would pray it very well. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Please be seated. This is very loud. Is it possible to reduce the, the volume? To reduce. Awesome. Awesome. Glory to God. Are we ready? I honor once again every man and woman of God present here. Thank you for honoring God and being available despite your busy schedules. Many of you are in church in the morning and you are here again in the evening. In an environment like this, the Lord will reward your sacrifice in Jesus' name. Honor the senior pastor. I honor every one. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll start with a quick share on what I call Kairos seasons. Kairos seasons. Kairos seasons. There are two kinds of calendars in a man's life. The first one is the natural calendar and the second one is the spiritual calendar. The natural calendar is referred to as the Kronos. 
That's from January 1 to December what? 31st. And within the Kronos, there are many events that happen. Your birthday is one of them. Your anniversary is another one, right? And so on and so forth. There's Christmas, there's Easter, and so on and so forth. There's bank holiday. I don't know if you have that in the US, but I know they have that in the UK. Spring holiday, summer, and so on and so forth. Then there is the Kairos. And this is the one that many people are not even aware of. Kairoses are divine calendars. There are seasons within the Kronos, of course, where what was not possible is now possible. Child, did somebody hear what I just said? Yes. Just follow this message because a Kairos has come for somebody's life. Yeah. Ah, the worst thing you can do is to be asleep within your Kairos. By the mercy of God, I believe one of the blessings and mercies I have enjoyed, which I will share as we keep on going, is to have entered into certain kairoses. I didn't even know it was a kairos season. I just by mercy found myself in it. And it altered my destiny forever. So let's join it quickly. John chapter 5 from verse 2 to 5. John chapter 5. From verse 2 to verse 5. Do we have it on the screen or we read it? We have it on the screen. Awesome. Do you have NKJV? Beautiful. Let's have it. NKJV then. Do you have other versions? Which ones do you have, sir? Anyone? Can we celebrate this man of God at the back? It's very sweet when we're reading it together from the screen. Are we ready? One, two, go. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. Verse 3. Verse 3 now. Verse 3. One to go. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving. Okay. Did you see that? There was a multitude of impotent folk. Some were blind, some deaf, dumb, whatever kind of sickness. And they were all waiting. There are a number of things you can deduce from this verse. They won't wait if there was no result. Yes or no? People only wait because they are expecting. It means there was a track record of healings, of deliverances, of shifts. But it only happens when the water, when the water what? moves. And it tells us why that was happening. Verse 4, everybody want to go. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever. Someone say whosoever. Kairoses don't respect age. Doesn't respect sex. Doesn't respect track record. How educated you are. If your father is a pastor or not. Are you getting what I'm saying? Once you jump into a Kairos season, it turns you into another man. Just follow this sharing. Whosoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of how many diseases? What if the person didn't have leg at all, or hand at all, or there was no eye socket? What will happen to the person? What if the person didn't have uh, no womb? The womb will come out, right? It doesn't matter how difficult it is. Once the pool is stirred, there must be a change. So multitudes, no wonder multitudes were gathered. Because they knew if I can enter first, my life will change. Are we together to that point? Now verse 5. One, two, go. Now, a certain man was there 
who had an infirmity. How many years? He shocked me. 38 years. Somebody was beside the opportunity for 38 years. Now let's assume how often was this water being steered? Let's agree on how often it was being steered. Bible didn't say so. There are some things we just assume. Bible didn't say so. If something happens once a year, will you be waiting? Once this year has happened, you will sit down there till next year. And somebody gets you what I'm saying. It can't be once a year. So how often do you think? Let's just agree here on one. Huh? Huh? If you go by American season, you say four seasons. But we're not, we're not, they're not America, do. But you get your point. <laughs> so, you say what? Because at a certain season, it didn't say at winter, it didn't say at, at, at a certain season, it will just come and they will see the water being stayed. So let's just agree on anyone, anyone. Four times a year, is that all right? So we will say every month. If we say four times a year, how long has it been sick for? Somebody please calculate it. 38 times 4. One hundred and fifty-two times an opportunity to be healed came and this man did not receive healing. What happens when you miss your kairos? Your time is lost. One of the signs you look at a person, one of the signs to know that the person has lost many kairos seasons is that the person does not look like what God has written concerning the person. Some of you, they look at you and they feel, I think I, uh, uh, thank you very much. People look at you and they feel like you are able to borrow them $10,000. When you don't give them, they are saying you are wicked. And you are wondering, she will be okay. Like, I'm trying to feed. You are saying I'm wicked. I didn't call I didn't want. Because in the spirit, what you look like, as it were, what you should be by now is someone that can dash. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? But because you have missed many Cairo seasons, you're looking like a shadow of what should be happening in your life. That's what happened to this man. 38 years of his life. I want you to imagine how many of his friends what had happened in their lives. If he got sick at the age of 20, how old was he? Come on, how old was he now? 58. If he got sick at 30, how old was this man? Okay. At 68, after he has been healed now, because he was healed, right? He now has a dream. This question is for pastor. He has a dream, sir. And in that dream, he sees himself on a football field in the middle of Messi and Ronaldo. And Messi and Ronaldo were holding medals and he was holding a cup. A golden cup. And crowds were shouting. Let's give him one name. Suggest so name for this man. Eh? Benzi, 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 Benzi. 30,000 people were screaming what? Benzi, Benzi. Then he woke up. Thank you, Jesus, for this revelation. And he comes to you, Pastor. And he says, Sir, I saw by God that I'm supposed to be a world best footballer. Sir, please pray for me. How old is this man now? He's only 68. Pastor, sir, what's your advice for him? I would say, it's very difficult. I will, I will pray for him by faith. <laughs> and I will say, God, grant the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. Who else wants to advise that man? Huh? Pastor is a very nice, he's a, he's a shepherd. Can we celebrate, Pastor? That just shows the quality of his heart. So he will not want to destroy you with his words. 
if it's some people here that are not very nice. In fact, if it's me you met, I will just tell you, I pray for your son. And where you have failed, you will not fail. Not where you will fail. Where you have what? Failed. Because it's history. I know you saw it, but it's now too late. I pray for you, your eyes will not open late. Ah, I thought somebody would shout the amen very well. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. Sight is useless when it happens late. It's useless. It's useless when it happens late. Luke 19, 41 to 42. We see an instance where Jesus wept. Luke 19. We have two records of Jesus weeping. Of course, he also wept in Gethsemane, so you can count that as number three. He wept in Gethsemane while praying. But this was a record where Jesus beheld a city. Together, one, two, go. He saw the city and wept over it. And let's see why he was weeping. This is the son of God. He was not crying because he's very emotional. You know, Some people are very, they're very easy to cry. This is the son of God. There's nothing he has not seen. But as he looked at the city and beheld them, he began to weep. What was the reason for his weeping? Together, 42. One, two, go. Say, if you had known, even you, especially in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now they are hidden from you. Sir, are you ready to give us other versions? Give me good news translation. Give me message translation. If you have passion, give me passion translation as well. Message translation. Everybody, one, two, go. If you had only recognized this day and everything that was good for you, but now it is too late. I pray for you, you will not realize when it's too late. I thought your amen would sound like thunder. The next version quickly, sir. Anyone, just give me anyone. Kai, look at this one. One, two, go. How I wish today that you of all people will understand the way to peace. But now it is too late. And peace is hidden from your eyes. My God. Nothing is as sad as this. To find out 20 years after a season has passed. But that was your season. Today is a Kairos season. And you will understand why soon. The worst thing that can happen to you is to find out tomorrow morning that today was your day. So please, I'll ask you to pray again for one minute. Father, please lift your voice. Say, Father, open my eyes now. Lift your voice. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Out loud. Tell Avina, Karata, Tustigana, Rapa Shaka, Tike Frekedulis. Zekte Kele Gem, Proto Katia, Finde Dina, Makopra, Shate Kipre Vede. Zikato Kamanahagias. Nandeno Jen Ropo Kapraka Shaka Tazai. Yebe, come on, come on, lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice, pray. Ayenda, Karati, Izida, Karasha, Asava, Karapa. Jekete, Frekete, Frekete.
20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Brashada Cabras, take your prefer to keep on Krupa Catamanias. Limbeli Kembro Conteli Mucombro Shendo Ravacacias. Libaya Makilan, Kelly and Pele, Sentoli Matuhis. Riki Timanta, Krashakte Provana Caparaki. Vilevan Stavalava Stavroshina Propahasta Capra Vasayas. Villa Fanto Frete Shekus de Vidonda Fakia Minus Yente La Kaya Arani Kivan Sepete Koko Repete Shere Zepete Repete Atecha Vida Vizendani Zepete In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Luke. Chapter 24. Luke 24, from verse 13. From verse 13. One, two, go. Later that Sunday, two of his disciples were walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus, a journey of about 17 miles. How far is 17 miles? How long will it take to walk 17 miles? Huh? Like how long? Two to three hours. Huh? Let's... Let's agree on anyone. Three hours is all right. Let's agree on three. So they were trekking from Jerusalem to Emmaus, and it will take them how long? Three hours. Verse 14. One, two. Please go back to NKGV. One, two, go. Verse 14. And they talked together of all the things which had happened what had happened jesus christ had died and was buried is that correct so now they were talking about it follow this sharing together the next verse verse 15 one two go so it was while they conversed and risen that jesus himself drew near and went with them what does this mean they were talking about Jesus. I guess who drew near? Jesus. They were talking about Jesus and who drew near? What was the subject of their gist? Who drew near? There's a principle right there for every pastor, every minister, head of fellowship. Anything you want to see, talk about it. Whatever you talk about appears. If you want to see more healings as a church, what am I going to talk about? Healings. You can go on a four-part series and break it down until people understand. Guess what will happen more? Healings. You want to sort out the issue of poverty? Guess what you need to talk about? <laughs> 
God's power to prosper. Once faith for it arises in people's hearts, that becomes a walkover. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Don't let the devil cheat you of anything that is for your benefit. You want to see people live a holy life. What will you talk about? Holiness. So they're talking about Jesus. And Jesus drew near and went with them. Verse 16. One, two, go. But their eyes were restrained so that they did not know him. So this Jesus came close, began to talk with them, and they didn't know he was Jesus. So I guess they asked him his name. What's your name, sir? And he said, Jesus. He said, oh, wow. You have a similar name with the person we are talking about just now. And he said, eh. See the next verse? Verse 17. Want to go. What kind of conversation is this that you have one with another as you walk and as sad? So Jesus was saying, ah, this is Jesus you guys are talking about. What kind of Jesus is this? And they were shocked. Next verse, verse 18. Answered and said to him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? And have you not known the things which happened there these days? So basically, what happened here is that they were saying to this man that they have just asked his name and said his name is Jesus. I'm ah, the only stranger in this place. Everybody knows about this thing we're talking about. It's viral. It's trending. It's the latest news in the whole of Jerusalem. What was the news? Jesus has just died. Everybody knows about this. What news is very viral in the U.S. right now? Huh? Like somebody saying Trump. Trump. Who is Trump? Someone's asking who is Trump. I say, sir, sir, you are Trump. <laughs> He don't know who Trump is. He don't know he's trying to come back. Where are you? Where do you live? How did it escape you? Are you getting what I'm saying? That's how they were shocked. That's how they were shocked. Oh, you never heard about lesbianism before. You're in the U.S. Mm -hmm. eh. A woman and a woman? Is that possible? Is somebody getting what I'm saying? This was viral. This was trending. Everybody knew about this. Next verse. Next verse. Keep the scriptures there, sir. It is concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all. Now, when the scripture is, is talking, they won't go into too much details because even the one they've written, I mean, people have finished reading it. So, they can't begin to tell us what they're talking about for three straight hours, right? They summarize everything in like three, four verses. I was not there, but I suspect. As they said, who was a prophet, mighty indeed, they started to give Jesus breakdown of the mighty deeds of Jesus. He said, Jesus, the most interesting thing is that you are even bearing his name. We were there, not that they told us. I personally was there. When a woman came behind him, this woman has been bleeding for 12 years. She just touched the hem of his garment. Jesus, guess what happened? Jesus said, what? He said, the pool of blood dried up. Jesus said, wow. They said, calm down. We will shock you today. That one is small. Were you not there? Cleopas, that day on the boat, Jesus stepped out from the mountains and was coming to them on the water. I saw it. I thought it was a ghost. I shouted. Peter said, bid me come on the water. Jesus said, come. Jesus, guess what happened? Jesus said, what? He said, Peter put his leg on water and began to walk. Jesus said, ah. They said, ah, yeah, Lenny, you'll be shocked today. Listen, we will shock you today. They started gisting Jesus about who? Come on, come on. About who? Jesus. Then they started talking to him about the fact that he was mighty in word. Do you remember that Jesus can start teaching you now and you'll be listening for the next three days? Is there any man of God you know today? That if he starts talking now, you will listen for three days? 
Marco Alor. Like Apostle Jasema will say, respectfully speaking, sir. Who fell out jail? Just hold. I'm coming. I honor the grace of God in your life, sir. It's just that if we inspire me. <laughs> How do you go under hot sun in the wilderness, not in AC, and sit down to a man talking? Many of you think it was about the depth of what he was saying. No. What he was saying was not strange. We have proofs of the things he was saying, right? He told them stories. A farmer went out to. And he did this. It fell among some, fell among some, some fell among. They were, they were looking like normal words, right? It was the weight of what was following his words. When he's talking to you, ah, my God, think of the most anointed utterances you have listened to, multiplied by 1,000. You are stuck there listening to him like this as he's talking. They sent some men to come and pick him up. <laughs> They arrived to pick him up and they said, listening to someone. They went back to say, Where's the man we said you should pick? He said, Nobody speaks like him. Wow. We said, Go and arrest somebody. You join them to listen to the message and you're shouting, Kai, Kai, Kai. Deep. Jesus was mighty in word. Can you say mighty in word? So they were telling Jesus about Jesus. When a person is blind, you can teach Jesus about Jesus. You can teach the way to the way. You can explain holiness to the Holy Spirit. It will be right inside fire and you are still freezing. You will be inside freezer, you are still sweating. All it takes to waste Kairos seasons is to be what? Is to be blind. That's why this prayer is one of the most important prayers you can pray. After salvation, the greatest miracle that can happen to you is that the eyes of your understanding be what? Enlightened. Be enlightened. Declare again in the name of Jesus. What I should see, I will not see it late. Turn into prayer in the next five minutes. Please pray from the depths of your heart. As we speak now, there are things that some of us are not seeing. Declare right now that the veil on your sight be removed. What I should be seeing about my church, about my family, about my children, about my future destiny, what I should be seeing that I'm not seeing right now. Right now, I begin to see it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The day you see is that day you shift. Lift your voice. Parade, Kelore, Edija, Asana, Kaliba, Paraka, Astada, Gabanias. Twegelida Kozis, Remba Kataya Kida Babruva Sanakofis, Tien de Zeno, Rene Gino Rakum Paracasta Brafiatus, Mende Terre Kete Bruvano Fizizi Shata, Jecte Proveta Comprobo Compaya Macusa. Come on, louder and faster, louder and faster. Zal, I will not see late. I will not see late. Jale kaniga ropa tangas to gara prakas to vidias. Lega tondi le don du su du kambra shata pruvo kupra hasta Jesus. Mien jele zento krashe to freko maniki yen peles. Te kora pakata. Lamba baba takra shakata vra baba bakata lama dandas. Yen bebele kete regete greke shete krepe venea. Yege de lo rukotanas. Ayanizanos, Zurapa Katadaya. Pray, 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 pray.
One more minute. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. Thirty more seconds. Pray. Paragata kambra shaka bravasta kaparakias. Membelekete rekete jeko rapakai. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Verse twenty. Verse twenty. Verse 20. Verse 20. 20. So let's just go, just go to 25. So we can save time. Verse 25. Together, after they had finished talking, Jesus gave a reply. Together, one, two, go. Then he said to them, O oh, foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Two things Jesus mentioned here. Of course, we don't need to go over the fact that Jesus was the one saying they were foolish. Before the Son of God, who has just died and resurrected, we open his mouth and say, somebody is foolish. The person must be what? Foolish. He pained him. It hurt him. And if you know these disciples, you know they have a track record of stressing Jesus. Yes or no? Jesus will say one thing, they'll be in another thing. Chai. One day he said, beware of the living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Guess what the Sadducees are talking about? It's because we do not carry bread. We do not buy bread when we're coming. Jesus turned. You think I'm talking about bread? <laughs> they stressed Jesus many times. One time he came down from the mountain and he saw a demon-possessed boy. And the father said, I brought him to your disciples. And they could not set him free. What did Jesus say that day? He said, how long will I be with you? Eh? They wanted to kill him before his time from frustration. So now he has died, he has resurrected. Come and hear what these guys are saying. We thought he would be the one. We thought he would be the Messiah. We thought, after three and a half years of pouring my life and heart to you, you are still talking like you don't have sense. So he said, oh, fools. And slow. Emphasis on the word slow. When a person is blind, they might eventually get it too. But they are, not, they are not in a hurry to have sense. If somebody gets what I'm saying, they are patient with sense. If you have ever experienced teaching a slow person, you understand what I'm saying. It can be frustrating. Right? Yeah. Frustrating. One funny example. It wasn't necessarily because I was slow, but there was just a problem with a foundation in one of the subjects, which was mathematics. I didn't do primary six. I don't know what you call that here. Primary six, what do you call that here? Not, it's, not, it's, it's not elementary. Sixth grade, right? In somewhere in between. Their own is, is uh, middle school and... Uh, anyways, primary six. 
I didn't do primary. And there were some foundations that should have been laid in primary six that would get me ready for secondary school. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, some schools, they merged five and six together back in Nigeria. My school wasn't doing that. And I remember our principal, or our proprietor, sorry, came one day to class and said, those of you who are trying to leave, you know, trying to move fast, you are digging your early grave. Ah. I said, now, wow. To move from primary five to secondary school, early grave. Is that how this man wants us to pay school fees next year? He's already swaying for us. You know, I didn't understand what he was saying because he knew that the foundation was not being laid and you want to jump. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? So in that subject, I was affected. By GSS 1, my problem began. I thank God for a friend. I won't say God bless me with a friend that I was dubbing from, but I was dubbing from somebody, all right? So every, you understand what I mean by dubbing, right? Oh, okay, okay, all right. Some of us did it too, but it's under the blood. Praise God. So I was copying every assignment, copying, that's how I made it through from GS1 to GS2, from GS2 to GS3. I can't forget his name, but I won't mention it. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. I was going through hell. My parents realized that there was a problem, and they got us a lesson teacher. And he came, and they began to teach us. And one day, somebody say one day, I burst into tears. I can never forget. I began to cry. Cry, cry, cry. I was wondering, is it the anointing? Is it all trance? Is it the presence of God? Is it the power of God? Why is he crying as I'm teaching mass? I was crying. <laughs> I was angry. It has reached here. Now, some of us code, code our, our ignorance and our issues instead of crying out for help. You keep quiet when the Kairos season has come. And you say, I'm an elder in church. I cannot cry out. Ah! May your pride not be the reason why you waste Kairos seasons. When the Kairos season comes, you abandon what you know and fly into the river. That man shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He was not the only blind man. But he knew Kairos was walking in front of him. Because as you keep jumping into Kairos seasons, you yourself become a Kairos season. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You yourself become a what? A Kairos season. You represent Kairos seasons in people's lives. When you appear, change has come. I declare the name of Jesus. Wow. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God forever. Glory to God forever. Glory to God. I declare in the name of Jesus, those of you, God is making into a kairos for others. Become that now in Jesus' name. The hand of God is coming upon a pastor listening to me. And I hear fire starter. God is about to answer your prayers. Ah, you will know the anointing after today. Mark my words. I leave it blanket like that the Jew always does, so that everybody can receive. But I can see the specific person. God's hand is upon you from today. God has seen your humble heart. Wow. Congratulations. Oh. Wow. Congratulations. Glory to God. So, where were we? You said? Matt. Okay. You want me to finish that story? <laughs> so, I started, I started crying. And then, my lesson just said, talk to me. Talk to me. What's the problem? Are you sick? Is, there, is everything all right? I said, I don't understand anything that is going on on the blackboard. I 
And my twin brother was, was angry with both learning the mass. So he said, keep quiet and say what, say what you want to say. say. Say what the problem is. I said, shut up as if you understand anything you see. The man was shocked. I've been talking for the past few weeks to people who don't know what I'm saying. Have I wasted? <laughs> so he said, it's okay, it's okay. Your parents are paying me to teach you. Tell me where the problem is coming from. And in class, because our class was so large, 50 persons, can't really ask questions. They might laugh at you and uh, all that. But now this is me and this lesson teacher and my twin brother. I can be vulnerable now. I can pour my mind. Someone say, pour my mind. It was time to say my mind. To finally air my view. I said, sir, I've been watching this thing since GSS 1. There's a problem in mass. He said, go on. And I know everybody, they are all pretending in class. There is a problem in mathematics. He said, go on, go on. What, what's the problem? We are all faking it. All my life I've known two plus two is what? I, I'm not dumb. Five times five is what? Hundred times hundred is what? I, I caught you there. 100 times 100 is 1,000. <laughs> it's okay. It's under the blood. Don't worry. <laughs> it will not stand before you on the judgment day. 100 times 100 is what? Are you sure? I like that. I like that. You are confident. So I was not dull. I passed exam. We come third, fourth in primary school. But I don't understand what's happening anymore. He said, what's the problem? I said, once I enter secondary school, I said, let's see strange things. What is a number doing with a letter, sir? Sir, explain what a number is doing with a letter. He was looking at me as if I'm joking. I said, all my life, you subtract one from two. Now we're subtracting two from one. And it's equaling the square root. See, see, if I catch the person that started mass, till today, I have not used what they taught me. The only mass I've used in my destiny is the primary school mass here today. I celebrate all our primary school teachers, all our mass teachers, celebrate them. The ones from secondary school, God will bless them. Because that's where they began to stress us. They now say you cannot fulfill destiny because you not pass mass. Thank God I passed it finally. Went on to be a lawyer. But imagine if they didn't allow me to fulfill my dream because I don't know about square root of 7.5 over X. Why should I know it? Is somebody hear what I'm saying? So I began to pour my heart, and this man shouted, Ah, three times. Someone said, Three times. Each hour was an encounter. The first hour meant he entered into GSS2 in the spirit. I was in GS3, remember? He entered GS2 in the spirit and saw that I, I don't belong in this class. So. This is not where the problem is starting from. He shouted the first hour. He moved to GS1 in the spirit and was checking the class to see at what point did this problem begin and saw that even in GS1, I don't belong there. In maths, he shouted the second. Ah, then he crossed over to primary school and realized on the subject of maths, I'm not even in secondary school yet. And he shouted the third word. Ah, I can go on and begin to wear trousers and even bully juniors, right? But as far as maths is concerned, there's no light. They can promote you, they can pour oil on your head, oh, and you sit in front. But as far as that matter is concerned, and there's darkness, there will be no results. Please, I will give you another two minutes. You will shout, Father, open my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. 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 Voice and pray. Please lift your voice and pray. Father, open my eyes. Open my eyes. 
show me why things are not working in this area of my life. Show me what is causing this challenge. Show me once and for all, stabilize me on this matter. Come on, lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice. Parante, Kerida, Asali, Kalach, Esevi, Lengtera, Kopre, Shekte, Prayer. Somebody who is hungry for answers here, lift your voice and cry to God. Lecelizoncrepa <laughs> Regeting of Rigono Zenso Rata Tires Lea Shala Barapa Cata Prashala Casa Nentila Zillo, Ciro Nidilio, Stele Frigo Nigon, Stele Keterati Jete Cate Crescente Le Precate Coproco Zumbara Pai Ajanda Talanda Calavida Satacras to Firatus Petty Mosacons, come on, Tonda. Yan Genazo, Sele Maraca, Araca Dinas, Oranti, Ginorapia, Profactas. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Declare my eyes can see and my ears can hear. Somebody's right hand has just been healed. Check now. Check now. Do what you couldn't do before. Check now. You will see. He's healed. Who is the person? Check now. The angel of the Lord just touched somebody's right hand. Where is the person? You're the person. Wave your hand. Where is the person? Where is the person? Check, check. Are you the person? Come on, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. How long has it been going on for some? Ten years. Wow. What was the issue? You tore your. Can you hear me, my mic? Check, check. I release healing right now into your body. Check, check. Jesus is healing people. Check, check, check. If you notice a difference, wave your hand. Check, check. If you notice a difference, you can wave your hand. Jesus is touching you. Go ahead, sir. It's not on. I tore my rotator cuff. The rotator curve. Okay. Okay. So, what couldn't you do before? When I, when I move it like this, it hurts. Okay, when you move it like that. Yeah. All right. And now, now it's free. It's free. Come on, celebrate Jesus, everybody. Glory to God. We are climbing gradually. It's moving a bit slowly. For sure and steady, we are going to get to that point. And many people here who don't remember where they left their prayer lives. God is restoring your altar again. Yes. I can feel it. The energy was in many spirits here yeah, quite low. Quite low. Some of you don't remember the last time you had those dreams you used to have. The last time you saw those visions, the last time you had that conviction, I declare over you restoration this night. Can you pray in the spirit very loud and very fast? Please, louder and faster. 
Tina Falactis, to the Rectish, to Campri, Facumativas. Just focus, close your eyes, pray in the spirit, don't be restless. Stay in one place, focus, pray in the spirit. Resist the urge to look around. Focus, pray in the spirit. Please pray. Please pray. Oh, Come on, lift your voice. Dina Marakia, Tiveno, Repetende, Kalazani, Kalajada. Shekateke, Repepe, Flecte, Stefete, Hebreke, Tondo, Ropokodo. Dunuma Santa, Kalabra, Shakataya. All the grounds you lost in the spirit. You are about to get it back now. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. If you can push very well, you will break through now. Come on, lift your voice and thunder in the Holy Ghost. Kazana. <laughs> Fidele ke tebere shebi ofamaki. Tetele ke mananga. Shekete proventero pala. The breaker is here. And there's no ground that is too hard. <laughs> Angels of this grace. Begin to break open. Break the fallow grounds. I command the veils to fall off. Elijah is here and the rain will fall. Let the rain fall. Oh my God. Oh my God. The anointing is rising now. The anointing is rising now. The anointing is rising now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody is feeling the fire of God. It has started. It has started. It's increasing. It's increasing. It's increasing. More. 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 Come on, come on, come on, loud and faster, loud and faster, loud and faster. Fire, your fire is restored. Your days of hunger are restored. Your fire is restored. The grounds you have lost in the spirit, you're getting back now. Come on, can you be louder and faster than that? Can you be louder and faster than that? Today is your Cairo season. Today is your day of breakthrough. Today, God, we answer your question. Come on, push, push, push. Tilacros, the Vereno, Kiramane, Kiratila, Asikalos, Shekele Bereket, and Zebrekete Ropokopai, Shekela Matandra Paka Santa Farabahaka, Yembima Kombe, Yembima Komba, Rabaka Sofrika Tosha, Shekete Rekete Zonas. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Shout it again, my eyes can see. Please shout it very well, my eyes can see. My ears can hear. Mr. Malaka, you screaming, my eyes can see. My ears can hear. Lift your voice and shout, glory. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God.
Glory to God. Glory to God. The atmosphere is open now. Can you feel the anointing? It's rising here now. It's rising. Every hindrance, every hindrance to your next level right now, I shut it down. Oh, the presence of God is rising. Near Kanabasa, Televina, Stila, Krochter. Ladies, the hand of God is upon the two of you. Very strong. I don't know who your parents are. But prayer has gone ahead of you. And today, I announce your name in the court of heaven. Jesus, touch! 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 In the name of Jesus, enter into your ordination right now. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's settle down. Let's settle down. Let's settle down. Silence now. Please, silence. All right. If you're not filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues, please, can you raise your hand? You don't speak with tongues yet. Raise your hand. If there are many, I will go in that direction. If there are not many, we will just keep flowing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. All right, please put your hands down. All right, let's quickly start drawing to a close on this one, and then we'll talk about the baptism into the Holy Ghost. Amen. Can we can we settle down, please? You are adding more pressure to what she's experiencing. All right, that's not a demon. So let's let's leave that. Silence now. Silence now. We'll pray. Amen. The entrance of the world brings light. If it doesn't enter, there's no progress. So please listen. The reason some of them now are overflowing is because they were listening. As the words are entering into you, Jesus says, the words I speak are what? Spirit and life. You are not where you were one hour ago. Somebody didn't hear what I just said. You are on a journey as you're listening. And many of you whose altars died many years ago is being restored now in the name of Jesus. I think you should just leave her. Just leave her, please. Please just leave her. It will not stop. Just leave her. Pastor, <laughs> Pastor, is this okay? Because we have just started. Eh? Hallelujah. <laughs> it will not stop. So please just, just listen, all right? It's nothing, it's, this is not confusing. Some of you can sense like the weather here is, is hot, so if somebody here is feeling cold chills, it will be weird, right? You're sensing coldness inside your body as I'm speaking. Raise your hand. Coldness inside your body. Raise your hand. Anybody like that? Anyone like that? Don't worry, man. Don't worry. Anyone like that? You're sensing electric waves running through your body. Raise your hands. 
Anyone like that? I'm not hearing you. I think nobody understands what I'm saying. If you are experiencing any of the following things, I will need you to raise your hand. I want to confirm something. You're sensing chills in your body. You're sensing currents of power, like your body is shocking you. Or you're sensing as though there's some heat wave on certain parts of your body. Just raise your hand. Uh -huh. Raise your hand. All right. So we are still about 20, 10, 20 percent in the river. So please listen. Where were we? Please help me this evening. Where were we? Huh? Huh? Well, have we not finished mass? Huh? One of the benefits of entering into Kairos seasons is that you yourself now become a what? A Kairos. Thank God for praying for revival. But your presence can mean what? Revival. You can pray to enter into healing and you yourself can represent what? Healing. Jumping into Kairos moments, if you maximize them, you yourself become a what? I will tell you my story. That's the, that's the mercy I received. So when Kairos seasons come, I'm feeling an impartation. Somebody is going to carry this thing back home. I'm telling you. You will see. That youth group will be on fire after now. You are talking. They are not hearing you. Wait after now. You will see. You will see. You are talking. They are not hearing you. Wait after now. Your words will tear veils from people. Glory to Jesus. Oh, God's hand is upon you. Car, it's your day. I feel the anointing. It's rising. It's rising, oh. And I'm seeing many veils. That's why I'm talking about this. Nothing wastes the anointing like veils. I'm seeing it on people's eyes like these cloaks. It keeps you from jumping into seasons of place of breakthroughs. Those tears have come to an end. Ah, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Those secret tears, those concerns. Let's finish this quickly. First, Luke 24, where we were before. Luke 24, from verse 26. So he said, All foolish ones and slow of heart. Do you remember? Uh -huh. Now, verse 26, together, one, two, go. You know why he's saying this? He told them again and again, I will soon go. Where I'm going, you cannot come. Do you remember those statements? Jesus Christ told them, he told them, that's the one they wrote for us. Remember John said, if we're to, if we're to write everything that he said and he did, he said the book will fill the entire world, right? Imagine how many times Jesus told them, and these guys were still, were still talking rubbish. Verse 27, everybody, one, two, go. I'm beginning at Moses. And all the, stop there, please. What is Moses? Get ready, man. The hand is upon you. What's your name? Man? Huh? Chica. 
beginning at Moses. What is Moses? Not the law. Beginning at Moses means beginning at the five books Moses wrote. Are you getting what I'm saying? What are the five books? So Jesus started teaching from the book of what? Genesis. He entered Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. He now says, and all the prophets. Who are the prophets? Jeremiah, Isaiah, Daniel, Psalms, right? Amos, Hosea, Malachi, and so on and so forth. How many percent of the Old Testament is that? Which was the whole Bible anyway at that time? Huh? We can say about 100. Proverbs is not prophets. Ecclesiastes is not prophets. You might not call kings and chronicles prophets. But we're talking about 70-80% of the Bible. Yes or no? As at that time. He says he expanded to them in all the scriptures, meaning everything in the Old Testament. So he started with Moses, entered into all the prophets, then every other remaining scripture. Jesus started teaching about himself. What does that tell you? Jesus is in the Old Testament. Did somebody hear what I just said? When you open that book, what you should see is what? Jesus. We don't have time to go into that. But you can't see Jesus there if your eyes are not open. Jesus taught about himself from which book? First Corinthians. Ephesians. Genesis. When your eyes are open, you will see him in Exodus. You will see him as a snake that was lifted up. God, as many as beheld him, they were healed. Tonight, your eyes will see him. Uh, your amen is, is coming up now. Can you say the amen very well? Declare again, my eyes can see. You know why we are repeating this thing? You shall have what you see. All right? Some of you, the first two, three, four, five times, it still didn't click. Please, just keep shouting. I know why I'm saying it. Oh. This is a prayer I pray every single day. Somebody's right leg now has just been healed. Check it now. Check it now. Do what you couldn't do before. Check it now. You've just been healed. Wow, glory to Jesus. Check it right now. Check now. Check now. Who is the person? Who is the person? Where's the person? Check. Something was going on on your right leg. Can you check it right now? Where's the person? You had a condition on your right leg. Can you raise your hand? Anyone like that? When I said right leg, I own was left leg. What will wisdom tell you to do? You see why we don't like to be specific in words of knowledge? Because you say, ah, they said right leg. Jesus is not healing my left leg. Somebody's leg now has just been healed. I want you to do what you could not do before. Check. I'll explain how that works, all right? I felt the anointing on this leg. So if you are standing in for somebody, it's a good time to stand in for the person right now. Words of knowledge in past feet. If there's someone who needs healing now, I want you to check it right now. Words of knowledge creates Kairos moments. Is somebody following what I'm saying? I want you to check what you couldn't do. Is somebody checking? If you're checking, raise your hand. Check, check, check. If you notice a difference, raise your hand. Just check, check. You notice the difference? What was happening before, man? When you're standing, you feel pressure on your right leg. On your right leg. <laughs> this way, low. I was almost confused. This will be the first time in my life that I will give word of knowledge. And it will not, nobody will answer me. I'm almost wondering what's happening today. 
I need your feedbacks, all right? We're tired, right? Then what's happening now? You know your feedbacks can affect the delivery, right? Yeah, yeah, please, so that we don't waste this evening. Unless you are shocked. Are you shocked? What is the issue? So please, relax. Nobody knows. I don't know. Maybe you're, I don't know if you're shy or something. And there's no big deal. Okay, I'm not sure if, it, if it's true for real. Please believe, or we don't have time. Believe, believe and jump in. I don't know you from anywhere. You don't know me from anywhere. Maybe you know me. I don't know, but jump in, jump in. This thing is for you. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? If you're not here, do you think that I, I will not make it back to where I'm coming from? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You think I'm under any pressure? No pressure. If you like, heal. If you like, no heal. No, I'm serious. Uh, uh, no. You think I, I should lie? No, now. It's not going to change what God has put on my life. It's not going to change the honor he has put on my life. So please, we just have a few moments left. Maximize this kairos. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Stop wondering how long this thing has been going on for. If I say check, what do you do? Check. I know we like testimony, so maybe I will share some. Because until you until they hear testimonies, usually they don't, they don't usually believe. Hallelujah to Jesus. It is well. So please, I need feedback. Let's finish this quickly. So Jesus started teaching about himself. I was not there again, but I suspect. They were telling him, ah, sir, you teach like Jesus. I wish you met Jesus, sir. Jesus, you are deep. See the way you just put that scripture now, Genesis and Isaiah. I've never seen it that way before. They were shouting, mm, mm. At no point did they stop and say, sorry, sir. Who are you? God, blindness is such a sad thing. How many of you have seen PAs of men of God that look nothing like you? The man of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How many of you have seen children of those who have labored looking nothing like them? I thought I would share my own story too. I did not always have sense. <laughs> See, just me as I am. That is what it is. I pray for every child, every young person, every teenager, every youth here. Your eyes are opened. Do you know how sad it is? This thing is territorial right now in the U.S. All of there's war. You are saying it and not hearing it, and you have, and you are angry with them. You better pray because there's warfare in everything they are drinking and eating. There's warfare. And they will sit down and listen to you and not get it. It's not normal. Even yourself, you are just the best you can do is to be angry, angry, angry. You get by, you sit knee down, you want to pray and sleep. There's warfare that nobody's horn will rise in the territory. But I know somebody is hearing me right now. Your altar has been restored. That amen looks like a serious amen now. I pray for those family members that you are trusting God to see. I declare their eyes are open now. In the name of Jesus! I want to give someone an opportunity quickly. Tell the Lord, Father, help my heart to receive tonight. I just heard that now. Quickly, quickly, quickly pray. Father, help me to believe you tonight. Help me, help me, help me. Lift your voice, lift your voice and cry to God. Father, please. Help my heart to believe again. Help my heart to believe again. When you have gone through a lot of disappointment, especially when it has to do with the things of the spirit, sometimes the heart can grow cold, can grow numb, can grow weary, can grow tired. Lift your voice and say, Father, help my heart to believe again that all things are possible. That all things are possible. Dirasta, Karani, Chidina, Faraka, Paraki. 30 more seconds. Somebody, 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 somebody. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push
Tana drata kasha kata krapa na dani kalivara pakata zakutwas. Jeka teke lefeli kapuru pakata. Oh my God! 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 Come on, push, push. Help my heart to believe again. Break the fallow ground. Help my heart to believe again. Come on, lift your voice. Pray, 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 pray. Zatala kasida faraki amina adija asada. Jeka tembro koto rapakatoa. Jina da baba rapapa pakata rapakati da vakap. Oh my God. Oh my God, Dila Fusta, Siranila, Azina, Solatia. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I'm seeing somebody whose marriage is about to receive the power of God. <laughs> wow. Father, we thank you. Thank you for being so good. Thank you for making this meeting happen for somebody's advancement. I'm only asking again, Father, that those ones you ordained this meeting for, they will not miss it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see God tell somebody, if you deal with pride, your next level is now. If you deal with pride, the next level is now. Pride is so dangerous. When you are proud, it's not, it's, the problem is not that you will be fought. The problem is who is fighting you. It's not Satan. Satan is not a challenge when you are proud. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. He will flee. It's not a problem. But when you are proud, you know who your fighter is? It's God. For God resists the proud. I pray for anyone who has that challenge here. I just saw that now. And it's preventing your next level. Some of you need to forgive. Some of you need to call and let go of somebody. Some of you need to apologize. You have been holding it in your heart. And you are praying prayers that we never see answers. I'm even seeing sicknesses that came as a result. I pray in the name of Jesus, you devil of darkness, latching on that body, causing infirmity, you know this voice. At the count of three, pack your load and get out. One, two, three. Get out in the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus forever. Let's finish up. Let's finish up. Let's finish up. Let's go to verse 29. Verse 29 together. One, two. Now, Jesus wanted to keep on going. If you do verse 28, you see that he wanted to continue. Let's do 28 so we see what happened. Then they drew near to the village where they were going and he indicated that he would have what? Gone further. So we want to see if there's even hope for these ones. Let me even see if the 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 if if all this teaching I just finished now, if there was any point. So he did as if we wanted to continue going. But thank God they were smart enough to say, ah, ah sir, sir, wait behind. The way that woman was smart enough in scriptures and told her husband, I perceive this man is a man of God. Let's make a room so anytime he passes by, he can stay here. That resulted in a child, yes or no? Kairos was passing by every time they were saying, Hello, ah, great servant of God, more grace, more power in ministry. One day she had sense, let this man of God. Be blessed, be refreshed by us. And the man of God became restless one day. Said, ah, every time I'm eating, I'm sleeping, they're making me happy and comfortable. What can I do? Find out. What can I do? He said she doesn't have a child. And guess what? Guest room produce a child. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? That's what happens when a man can see or a woman can see. You're able to see opportunities and maximize it. There are people around you with graces, but you're looking down on them because they're not popular. 
child. Did somebody hear what I just said? One lady, where I'm coming from, we're having a retreat, and then she said that she wants to receive grace for consistency. She wants me to pray for her so she can become consistent. That she noticed that her father has been so consistent for many years, maybe 20 years or so. I said, you say what? Your father, 20 years, four, five hours every night consistently. And you are asking me to pray for you for consistency. What do you think that is that lady's problem? What do you think is her problem? Anything you want to call it is correct. Pride, blindness, my familiarity, all join. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? So I told her, the way you know I will tell her, go to your father, kneel down at the prodigal song and say, Father, I have sinned before heaven and before you. I did not have sense, sir. Daddy, please don't treat me as daughter. Look upon me with compassion. You have something I don't have. Lay hands on me. And I told her, sow a seed into your father's life. Did somebody hear what I just said? How can help be around you? And you are running from one channel to another channel on YouTube. That's our generation today. You will leave the one that's right beside you and be looking for what's not lost. I pray for you, your eyes are open in Jesus' name. Glory to God forever. So it did as if we wanted to continue going, and they said, Please wait behind. Verse 29 1, 2, go. But they constrained him, say, Abide with us, for it is toward evening. And the day is fast spent. And he went in to stay with them. Verse 30, 1, 2, go. Verse 30, 1, 2, go. This is one of the mysteries for open of eyes. As you hear the word of God, something happens to your eyes. All right? Verse 31. At the top of your voice, everybody, can you shout it? One, two, go. Then their eyes were open, and they knew him, and they vanished from their sight. The sad thing about this story is that once they recognized Jesus, he disappeared. Let me ask you a question. Were there questions they would have loved to ask him? How long did they have with Jesus? Over three hours. Were there sicknesses in their family members that they would like to be healed? What if there were 40 problems they listed for Jesus? Will it be solved? Was any of them solved? They used the old three hours to do what? To hear, to hear someone. And to also share someone. So they share them at first. They now... Give and it shall be given unto you. <laughs> the first expounded Jesus to Jesus. Jesus now. At the end of the day, they wasted this encounter. Let me ask you a question. If you see Jesus for three hours, will it change your life? I like the way somebody is responding. It's a three hours long, long. You are here, you know you are not slow. One hour is okay for you. Somebody is saying one hour is too much, Abby. You are here if he appears to you for 15 minutes. Is it enough for you? It's too much. Okay. Are you sure? I know you have a lot to say. If he appears to you for five minutes, will he alter your destiny? Are you sure? Okay, what if he's very busy? He doesn't have time. It's only one minute he can give you. Is this still enough? I know some people are very smart here. Once he just arrives, aha! You are welcome. Number one, <laughs> foundational problem. Number two, out of my father's house. Number three, <laughs> sir, he said, he said, how are you first? You say good morning. Good morning, sir. Number four, 
Within 30 seconds, you have finished downloading all the matters. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. I adore you. You will not waste the one minute. Everything that has brought you pain, that day will come to an end. Yes or no? Yes. Let me ask you a shocking question. Where is Jesus now? Are you sure? So check, how long have you spent with him? Who is seeing what is happening? If your life has not changed, then what do you think the problem is? The problem is sight. It's not the man of God that came. It is the sight. The problem is what? The sight. Once I understood this, life became different for me. I started to increase in the anointing. I started to see results. Things started happening very fast. I stopped wasting time. Every God engagement always produced results. Every day from that moment became a countdown. That's why I'm asking you to pray it. I told you I'll tell you my story. By the grace of God, I was born into a family of an anointed man of God. Some of you might know him, some of you might not know him. The grace for healing and deliverance upon his life was so strong. If I was to measure it, for many people working in deliverance, if deliverance was like a mantle or like a rod in the spirit for them, for him, deliverance was a truth he was sitting on. There were many cases that great fathers in the faith, I won't mention names, will write after they are finished talking to the person. They will write, take this note, to God will do its ministries. Tell him from me and let him attend to you. Because anything deliverance, are you getting what I'm saying? Let's let's just every time I share this story, my my joy is that I'm not sharing this with regret. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm not sharing this with regret. I'm happy my eyes did not open after he had passed. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? One day on campus, a great man of God came to minister. As he arrived, he began to quote unquote threaten us because there was no other better way to put it. He told us how many of us are ready for the power of God. We shouted, Yes. He called the president, stand up as the JCCF president. He said, do we have enough buses to park people? Not buses. I'm still feeling the anointing on my hand. Somebody's been healed. Check it now. Please check. You've just been healed. Glory to Jesus. Check it now. You've just been healed. He said, do we have enough buses to park the bodies of people after the meeting is over? So we're confused like to transport them back home no <laughs> to pack them like sardine are you getting what i'm saying so we're confused all of us in this meeting like this like we need buses to pack people so the president said we have buses he said where is the rcf president he got up i asked you this question on sunday what did you tell me so i told you we have enough buses sir. did we have enough buses no sir so we're all getting worried. See, I was in OAU last week Friday, and I asked them this same question, do we have enough buses? And they told me we had enough buses. He was sincerely concerned because he didn't want people's bodies littered all night. He said, and we did not have enough buses. We had to litter people's bodies all over the field. President, do we have enough buses? President said, all the presidents of fellowships are here. So all the buses... Ah, yeah. If it's not enough, there's not. Nia was there, second row. The day your life changes, you don't forget. 
Second row, black or white in the choir, red tie. Second row, middle or second row, on the right side of the hall. I was looking at this man. I was saying, God, please, oh, answer his prayer. Because oh. this one, you are spoken like this. It will not be nice. It don't make sense. That after everything, nothing happened. How is he so sure? I did not know that when your eyes are open, you can be sure. It's not guesswork. Are you getting what I'm saying? If trailer jam you, you will know something jam you. If bicycle jam you, it's different. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when you have become a trailer in the spirit, you can assure somebody that by God, by this time tomorrow, and this and this and this will happen in your life. And the person will go wondering, how shall these things be? Chai! Kai! You shall see no rain, you shall see no wind, but the valley shall be full of water. You are arguing with a prophet. As he said it, the water knew what to do. It must respond to the voice of the prophet. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? So that day, the meeting was coming to a close. He took worship song and bam! Truly, truly, they pack my friends, relatives, and family, woman abroad. <laughs> they pack them. I saw, I saw drunkenness for the first time. Okay, I remember when to do Holy Ghost baptism. Glory to Jesus. It's the first time I saw baptism that knocked somebody's head. The person is not mad, though. The person is high. Ha! Huh? Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? There are some phenomena that, are not, that become rare in a generation. And when you're hearing about it, you're wondering what is that? But all those experiences are domiciled at energy levels. Can you say experiences in God are domiciled at energy levels? Say it again. Experiences in God are domiciled at energy levels. Water doesn't boil at every temperature, right? Perfect example of that. You don't know what's inside you yet until you charge. By 20 bar, 40 bar, 60 bar, you start discovering yourself. Can, is somebody hear what I'm saying? You start having weird experiences that you cannot explain. You will need counselor. You will need mentor. The first time I was bilocated, 2013. My location is to be in two places at the same time. I left my body. I saw myself in Wales. Just cut the long story short. The time I came back into my body, I shared with my parents. Thank God I told you, my parents are clergy. I grew up born and bred in church. So just relax, all right? If you are afraid of error, I'm more afraid of error than you, all right? So I went to a woman of God. I won't mention the name. A mother in the land in Ibadan. I said, Mommy, see what happened to me. And I remember her, her words. The only time believers will be Hallelujah to Jesus. The only time believers will be transported or translocated or whatever is when Jesus comes. We will bilocate from earth to heaven. Is that not nice? Doesn't it make sense? Until you read your Bible and see that Philip was bilocated. Did somebody hear what I just said? The fact that it's rare doesn't make it strange. It's in your DNA. Charge, you will find who you are. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? The next generation in this nation needs to see the power of God. They need to discover Jesus differently. We need to stop talking and start doing. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? These things are lost already. Even in places like Nigeria where prayer is still going on, it still sounds strange to many people. How much more places where prayer is not even going on again? Even to dream now is a miracle. 101 of prophetic. Sir, so I dream, I don't remember. Is, is the order of the dinner? That's the question everybody's asking. 
It's for old men that cannot even, he said, old men will dream dreams. Ah, is somebody hear what I'm saying? Once energy level drops, everything drops. Where you just decree, get out in the name of Jesus. Get ready for six hours, get out. You will shout, get out until you are out. You yourself that you are casting and you, you will get out. It happened to me too. I shouted, get out from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Eight hours of get out. I was worn out. Get out, I'm not going. Get out until we stop trying to cast out the devil. We're now trying to see who the devil is responding to. So we form a big circle. Me and other great men of God. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, King of glory, everlasting Father, the one who rules and reigns, who is to come. How far and make a begin and the end. You are talking story. Doesn't matter how long your prayer is. If your eyes are closed and there's no light, nothing will move. Do you hear what I just said? Like as a plenipotentiary of the kingdom of God, I decree as one God has given a mandate on this earth. This had to break that you. So your prayer is deep, but I'm not going. <laughs> ah, is somebody hear what I'm saying? You won't even know there is any demon anywhere. Yes, ah, it takes power to even reveal them. You don't know that. You will not hear a single ah for 40 years. They are there. They want you to even believe they don't exist. Glory to Jesus forever. I'm still feeling the anointing. God is healing people. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. So what happened to me? After that meeting, I ran to the man of God. I went with the seed. He says, sir, please pray for me. I'm hungry for God. I remember when I used to see how he would look so tired. And I said, Lord, the way he's tired, that's why I want to be tired. No kidding. I love this man so much. God has answered that prayer now. <laughs> and I'm asking him to please slow down. Joe, I was joking. The more I'm praying that it should come down this, the more the, the more the thing is increasing. If I knew that 10 years from that time, I'll be running from what I'm running at. That thing God has shown you will come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Somebody saw themselves standing on the stage. And crowds were listening. It will come to pass. It will. Don't worry. It will come to pass. Get ready, all right? There'll be impartation towards the end. God's hand will come strongly upon you. Hunger is rare in this territory, so when I see it, my heart goes outwards. I know what it means to, to be talking and people are not hearing what you are saying. Okay. And so I finished... Sir, please pray for me. And he said, what's your name? He said, my name is Lawrence Oyo. He said, which Oyo is that? Oyo, Oyo, oh, are you? He said, are you Dr. Oyo's son? Yes, sir. You don't mean it. That can't be true. Uh -uh. My father. I would not lie about who my father is. He's my father now. Came for impartation and lay hands on me. He said, What if I want to see daddy tomorrow? Can I see daddy? I said, Ah, no problems. I'll just come to the house of the door. He will come downstairs and see you. Sir, please pray for me. I thought, or oh, God thought, <laughs> that I will have sense that day. He didn't dawn on me that the person I need to pray for me wants my father to pray for him. Child, blindness is not good. It's not good. Ah, it's not good. Ah, it doesn't. It's not good. Though. It doesn't pay at all. That happened at least twice. The third time it happened, 
this man of God was the one God used to start me out on stretch prayers. The first time I prayed 12 hours in tongues, it was this man of God. I remember how we went, this was 20, 11 December. We went into the streets running after mad people. Running after what? Mad people. Chai! Me, I was running behind those that were running. <laughs> We were grabbing crutches, opening blinders, opening deaf ears. In that crowd of 200 people, the man will ask, how many of you opened blind eyes today? I thought we were asking for how many of you are saved because plenty has been going up. I said, ah, blind eyes, no. <laughs> Miracles were happening through people. God, imagine how I would see that man. When it took me through my first 40 hours of tonking, I remember texting my mother. I said, I've just finished 40 hours of praying the Holy Ghost. I felt like I can bite Satan's neck. So after the conference, we cut long story short. And one of the major prayers we prayed, by the way, was that the eyes of our understanding will be what? That's why I suspect that was where the miracle happened. I remember repenting during the meeting. Ah, I need to go and honor my father because he preached on honor. After the conference was over, we came with our seed. Sir, pray for us. We were still coming, approaching him. He said, Oh, he was right. Yes, sir. I saw your names on the register. This is where you get on. Tell him. Tell daddy one of his boys is saying hello. So I said to myself, I'm sure I'm one of my father's boys. If you are one of them too, are you saying we are brothers? I went back home from that December. Every time my father gives me allowance, I will give it back to him. December, of course. So there are two people I used to give to. I'll give to Pastor Adeboe, January. I'll give to my father, December. So I start saving from September, October, November. And then I will give to him. And he will lay hands and he will pray for me. The next year, January 2013, 12, sorry, I saw the power of God for the first time through my life. I stood in the school. People came out for altar call. Demons were screeching, shouting, Leave me alone, I hate you. I say I hate you too. <laughs> ah, power is sweet. From that year, it has never stopped. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? And that's why I say I thank God I'm not sharing this story with regret. Many people didn't enter the inheritance. The fact that your biological son does not mean you will enter inside it. Are you getting what I'm saying? You honor your way into inheritances. Child, is somebody hear what I just say? You honor your way into it. And how can you honor a person you have not seen in the spirit? Paul said, No, we, no one after the flesh. Before we knew Christ after the flesh, but well, now, henceforth, no, we, no more after the flesh. See those persons around you as what God has made them gifts to your life. And start maximizing that gift that they are. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pray that prayer one last time. And we enter into Holy Ghost baptism. Is that right? Please pray it very well because the next one we are entering into now will be determined by this prayer. If you pray well, then your eyes will open on this subject. And every other subject I'm about to mention now. God is giving somebody prayer power. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Yes. Prayer power. It's opening your eyes on the subject of prayer once and for all. Once you see better, you will do better. Lift your right hand to God and declare. Right now, my eyes are opened. My ears are opened. Right now, my understanding is enlightened. Lift your voice now. Pray in the spirit, everybody, everywhere. Please pray in the spirit out loud. Durete, Karadaki, Sterida, Shadakaza. 
Mante Catala Brantu Suka Prafadarias. Dige Berekete ne Prefeshenketes. Tilo Barumba Casibro Vedimo Coromba Gigaza. Tuegani Mabungra Shefretos. Le Baraka Ka Kirifans Shividanos. No co Bronduras. Bronduras Tan Rocosta. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray?
Hosea 13, 13. Hosea 13, 13. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Charata Jan, Rupakia, Kafara, Kazina, Te. Where is your campus deals of fire? Where is your altar? Where is your hunger? Come on, 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 come on. Push, push, push. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We'll read this scripture in five translations. I'm going to continue praying. This miracle must happen to you today. Together, one, two, go. The sorrows of a woman in childbirth shall come upon him. He is an unwise son, for he should not stay long where children are born. Look at another version, you understand it better. We'll read message last. Give us NIV. Tarakatandra, Pukafila, Kule, Finatino, Mesente, Kontelika, Jadis. Dividinasto, Dina Maraka, Parakia, Purife. Any other one, any other one is fine. Any other one is fine. Any other one is fine. Zefenti, Kalafina, Dura Pasha, Tira Panas, Reketeketeke, Dupana, Kachandro, Pakasta. I want to go. Peace. As of a woman in childbirth, come to him. Boy, is a child without wisdom. When the time arrives, he doesn't have the sense to come out of the womb. The time has come for people to be born. His time has come for vision to be born. But Ephraim doesn't have enough sense to come out. When the current season comes and goes, what you will have is either a stillborn, miscarriage, or you have a death of both mother and child, and so on and so forth. Complications arise when you don't come out the time ordained for you to come out. Seasons are wasted at least, at the very least. Any other two other versions, the message version, quickly, please. Look at this. <laughs> message translation together. One, two, go. When bedpan signaled, it was time to be born. Ephraim was too stupid to come out of the womb. When the passage into life opened up, it didn't show. Lift your voice and declare, I will not waste my Kairos season. Please open your mouth out loud and thunder right now in the place of prayer. Ah, I thought somebody will fire this prayer. I thought somebody will fire this prayer. Adiga, gusu, du, mundu, kupa, kushi, kutu. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
I receive wisdom to maximize my season. Mantilayo, Selavinda, Karashana, Karapanta, Diafelayo, King Demekra. It doesn't matter what you have lost. If your eyes are open today, you can recover. We serve a God that can restore the years that the locusts and caterpillars have eaten. It doesn't matter what has happened to you, He can restore you. Lift your voice and cry, I will not waste my Carlos season. Jaka la praka staka brapa vasada frapa pa. Lenge le peten brupa ko jeke tera. Come on, lift your voice, lift your voice. Yete te laka, pour your heart to God. Jesus, don't let me waste this season. Come, push, 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 push. Lego Tata Crash and Gata Praka has to go to the Tikoro to the Pudodias. Where is my sword and my shield? Where are your weapons of war? What has Satan stolen from you? Some of you, he stole your eyes. He stole your dream life. He stole conviction. Right now, I collect back. I give birth. I give birth. The time has come. Come on, push, 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 push. Shaka la pro. Shaka te proba. Get the make it in the black as Ali can rock up to. Oh my God. Oh my God. Somebody's breaking through now. Congratulations, sir. Somebody's entering now. Somebody's entering now. Look at that. Aha! 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 That's right. Fire. Shalata la raya. Yekete rekete rekete. Yekete rekete. Yekete rekete rekete rekete. Yekete rakata sakata. Shatra parapa prata tam prata tala. La prasha tata laka. Yekete rekete roa. Pray as if you know where you are coming from. Pray as if you know the family you came from. Pray as if you remember where you are coming from. Come on, push! Push! I will not suffer what my parents suffered. I will not repeat the error of my ancestors. Push! I give birth to the new me. Ayadenga, Lando, Sendo, Robo, Bonda. Leka, teka, 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 leka, teka, son. Sheka, le, brombo, boko, to, broko, san. Atala, da, zukata, braka, shakatala. Rakata rakata aha 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 That strange headache is gone now 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 That strange affliction is gone now now That strange sickness also asthma is gone now Come on pray 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 That shoulder pain is gone is gone now That back pain is gone now Aha, louder, louder, faster, louder, faster. 
In Jesus' name, I pray. There's a woman listening to me now. And you're a watchman in this territory. You know it. I'm not saying they told you. You are actually living that life. The Lord wants me to make contact with you. Strength is being given to you to give birth. Let the woman come out now. You are a watchman. You know what that means? This woman should know what that means, actually. In the name of Jesus, I am asking, Lord Jesus, for the nations that have been ordained for you to give birth to, they will not wait in vain. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet right now, I release to you prayer power. Grace to be consistent. I drive you into the secret place. Go into hours, days, weeks, and months of prayers. Strength to pay the price and not be tired. Your body cooperates with these assignments. Every sickness that was fired into your body preventing you from fulfilling this role. Right now, I shut it down now. No more weakness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't know why I'm seeing you, man. You, man. Yes. Is anything I've said making sense to you? Because you didn't come out. We are going to come out. But we are waiting. <laughs> New Jersey people. I will not forget you in a hurry. <laughs> I saw you in the spirit. And I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. That the strength to fulfill that calling is now released. Touch in the name of Jesus. Take it. It's yours. I open the wells of revival. Right from 2013, all those things God did. Start fires. Lead that movement now. In the name of Jesus. Let God's daughters begin to gather. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus forever. And everything in the flesh that's keeping it from happening. Every pollution, every corruption, every distraction. Right now, the hand of God shuts it down. <laughs> Jesus, fire. In the name of Jesus, you're free. Glory to Jesus. Our time is running really fast. We will not be able to talk about tongues. If you're here, you're not born again. Raise your hand where you are. Anyone like that? They're not sure if the rapture sounds now. You'll fly with us. Raise your hand where you are right now. Anyone like that? So I can pray with you. Anyone like that in the building? Anyone like that? My hands are clean from the blood of anyone in this under the sound of my voice. 
There's no one like that. I move on to the next call. Anyone like that. The next call. You are not filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues. Please come to the front now. I will explain it in about 5-10 minutes. And you join us all to speak in tongues. Is that right? So just listen carefully. The entrance is what brings light. So please pay attention. This is not the time to pray. Listen. Listen. It's very simple. Once you understand, it's straightforward. I came out like you're coming out now to receive Holy Ghost baptism in church. And the man of God prompted us to open. Jesus, thank you. People are being healed. Check yourself. It's gone. What you came with has gone. It's gone. Somebody was heavy. You notice now you're lighter. You're lighter now. You're free. Your joy has been restored. Glory to Jesus. I'm happy to see that. Glory to God. Now listen. I came out and my first tongue, they said we should open our mouth and speak with tongues. My first tongue was Sheketelia, Sheketelia, Sheketelia. I remember it because it lasted four years. How many years? How many years did it last? Sheketelia did not leave me. I'll say it fast. I'll say it slowly. Just relax, all right? Relax, relax. You don't need to use boom fist to enter it. It's not by boom fist. Relax. It's your language. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're simply giving it voice. I said I was raised in church. I asked all the questions that you are asking. I had all the concerns that you have. God's hand is upon you, man of God. Sir. I don't know what you do. I don't know you before. But I hear God say, God's hand is upon you and upon the work he has put in your hands. What do you do, sir? You say what? You are a pastor. Okay. Okay. The word of knowledge I gave earlier do you remember that one I said? That I didn't want to. Do you remember? It was for you, sir. I just wanted to specifically mention it. Do you remember the one I'm talking about? I'm sure your, your spirit bore witness with it. I don't remember it right now, but it was something that had to do with. Uh, huh? Yes, yes, God, yes, yes. Something around humility, God raising you up and then anointing and so on and so forth. Youths gathering and so on and so forth. Are we ready? Now, I opened my mouth and spoke. My mother asked me when I got back to the house. Did you receive? I said, I did. I, 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 I don't know. I did. Is, is it yes or no? Did you receive? I said, yeah, yeah. He said, oh, yeah, speak now. I said, is it me that will speak? And that leads me to the first question. Who speaks in tongues? You or the Holy Ghost? Huh? You are the Holy Ghost. Are you sure? Are you sure? The Holy Ghost speaks in tongues. Who speaks in tongues? Because that's where the problem usually comes from. Who speaks in tongues? You are the Holy Spirit. Let's see it, alright? I didn't want to go into an in-depth teaching, but let's just look at it. First Corinthians chapter 14. We'll read verse 2, we'll read verse 14 and verse 15. We'll try and rush this quickly. Reduce the volume of the sound a bit, just small. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 14 says, I think we'll just quote it and, and fire out. Do we have it? All right. My spirit prays and my understanding is some fruit for if who prays come on say I so say after me I do the speaking the Holy Ghost does the praying so for if I pray in tongues my spirit prays but my mind lies fallow and all that intelligence is wasted verse 15 everybody one to go so what's the solution the answer is simple enough do both I should spiritually free and express as I pray. What I should. I should sing with my spirit and sing with my mind. 
the emphasis is I. Someone say I. So say after me, those of you who are in front and everyone everywhere as well. Because I'm sure people doubt their tongues from time to time, right? Yeah. Even those who have received. Say after me, I speak in tongues. I sing in tongues. Is that clear? So let me ask you a question now. Can I speak in tongues in the toilet? Are you sure? Is that toilet? Are you sure? What if I'm on the road? Can I speak in tongues? What if I'm in the exam hall? Can I speak in tongues? Can I speak in tongues? On my bed, can I sleep in tongues? In church? What if I'm going for sports? Can I speak in tongues? What if I'm jogging on the road? How come? Because I can start and I can stop by myself. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? The problem is we're always thinking that it must be, you know, the way uh, you first worship. I put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matter. You are all that matter. That's how we thought it was supposed to be. It's simple. Open your mouth by faith. Say, I will open my mouth by faith. And I will speak with tongues. Like I said, there's no time today to expound on this. I'm going to release a book very soon. Very simple way to lead anybody into Holy Ghost baptism. All right? So what is the challenge for the person who is going to speak now? Is questions like, how do I know I'm not saying rubbish, right? Come on, is somebody hear what I'm saying? Verse 2 answers that question. No time. Verse 2 answers that question. Oh, so, sir, because you, you are about to receive, just join. Don't worry about the verses. You don't have time today. The scripture says, He that speaketh in our known tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. Habit in the spirit, he speaketh mysteries. So nobody has a right, including you. Because you don't understand what you're saying. Nobody can tell you you're saying rubbish. Say after me, nobody can tell me I'm saying rubbish. Because nobody understands me. Guess who understands you? God. And he won't tell you you're saying rubbish. He will give you the right one, right? Why are you telling you you're saying rubbish? Come on, is somebody getting what I'm saying? Very simple trick. Satan is the one telling you you're saying rubbish. So if he sits and telling you are saying rubbish, you know why you always believe him? Because you think it's your mind talking. When he talks, it lands where your thought happens. Did you catch what I just said? Same thing with God. As a simple teacher of word of knowledge, if you pay attention to your thoughts as you are praying in tongues, you will start developing a prophetic spirit. Pay attention to the pictures and words coming to your mind as you are speaking in tongues. Satan tells you are saying rubbish because he speaks in first person singular. Meaning you will feel like it's you. You are the one that is thinking it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Has somebody come to church before to give testimony and they said, something came to me. I, 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 I felt like I should. At the time, you felt like it was you. Then you realized it was God. And something told me. Has someone said that to you before? Something told me. They thought it. But eventually, they now realize, oh, wow, that was not my thought. It was a God thought. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Same thing on tongues. As you're speaking in tongues, Satan will be telling you things like you're saying rubbish, you are smelling, you are dirty, and so on and so forth. Simple answer to give him after today. Tell him, uh, when did you start loving me, sir? Like, you should want me to say rubbish, yes or no? So why are you trying to stop me from saying rubbish? Unless what I'm saying is not rubbish. Child, did you get what I just said? Once he tells you you're saying rubbish, speak louder. You reply thoughts with words. Say after me, I reply thoughts with words. So in the ranking, the realm of the spirit, thoughts and words are not the same. You didn't get what I just said. Yeah. Same thing when you're having thoughts that are driving you to addiction. Start opening your mouth and saying, that is not me. That's not me. That's not me. You can't talk and be thinking at the same time. Did somebody hear what I just said? Yes, yes. Are you blessed? Why did I doubt my tongues? Number one, I didn't fall down. Number two, I did not cry. Number three, I didn't break any chair. I did not shake. Number four, that's why I doubted my tongues. Because I believe when Holy Ghost comes, I cannot just be standing. 
It should scatter everywhere. It should tear. If you break anything here, you will pay for it. Are you hear what I'm saying? I have a friend like that. If you break anything in his church, the ushers are waiting for you after you finish your impartation. Say, well done, sir. Welcome back, sir. Two five. Two five. The tears, two five. After that day, people stop falling anyhow. They fall responsibly. Are you getting what I'm saying? They check. <laughs> they confirm before you fall. Ah, is somebody hear what I'm saying? I'm saying that to say, no need for drama. Open your mouth by... Come on, come on. By what? By faith. Now explain why you think that you didn't receive. Because of this corporate atmosphere, and some of you who believe you lost it, I'll tell you why. The corporate atmosphere like this, we have what is called the corporate anointing. Someone say corporate anointing? is stronger than your personal anointing. It means the things you are feeling here, you might notice you are not feeling it tomorrow morning in your quiet time. Who understands what I just said? And the problem is, if you receive Holy Ghost baptism here now, and you felt all those things, all those vibes now, your body is shocking. Ah, shala, you are feeling very charged. It's an automatic. When you get back to your room tomorrow, and you open your mouth, you notice you are saying it by yourself. Salalala. You can hear yourself speaking and now. You're beginning to doubt. It's like you're laboring now. What you don't know is that there's a river inside you. It's time to dig your own way. Dig, dig till you get to water. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you get to water, you will know. It will switch to automatic. Where you were trying to cover 30 minutes, you just find yourself two hours, three hours, four hours. The spirit of prayer has come upon you. Come on. Is somebody understanding what I'm saying? After now, dig your own well. Dig your well. Tell your neighbor, dig your well. Dig your well. Dig your well. Dig your well. So I'm waiting for Sunday service. Dig your well. If everybody's well was full of water, when we come together in service, imagine what will happen. In flood, in river. Come on, lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. So very simple. One last illustration that will help you. When I say by faith, what do I mean? Have you ever heard the man of God say, Lift up your mantles, everyone. And put it on your head. Ah, someone said I can continue to... Where did this come from? <laughs> Even me. <I'm... laughs> the whole one week of stress is beginning to, to tell on me. I need to rest soon. Hallelujah. Why are you blessed? I hope we're not wasting your time. Your lives will never recover from this. I won't mention the man of God's name, but I'm sure some of you will know the man of God. Lift up your mantles, everyone. And they lift up their mantles and say, put it on your head. As this mantle leaves this place, as you put it on the dead, they will rise. Put it on the ground. This, this ground right now is soaked with the power of God. Any world you put these mantles on, we carry their children. And then you carry it. And you go and put it on your auntie's stomach. This is handkerchief. Yes or no? Please the way. You put it on your auntie's stomach like this. And she's wondering, what are you doing? So don't worry. Don't worry. And then Jesus, 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 Jesus. And then you go. One month after she's spitting. Twe, twe, twe. And then she goes, does tests, realize she's pregnant after 26 years of waiting. And then she goes nine months, she gives, gives birth, and she comes to church for testimony. So now, we want to ask a question. Who gave the woman belly Option A, I cannot mention Pastor's name. <laughs> the name is too, it's too hallowed in my mouth. Option A, a husband. Option B, handkerchief. Option C, pastor. Not that pastor. <laughs> they are pastors and they are pastors today. <laughs> so, pastor, option D, faith. Wait, wait now. Uh -uh. Option A, what? I was bad. Uh -uh. 
How will you feel a husband if your husband is here now? He said, who gave her belly? He said, faith. Who is faith? Who is bearing faith here? I said this in one place. I want elderly mama said, where the husband don't they all these years? <laughs> I laughed. I couldn't argue with mama. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Who gave the woman belly? Somebody sharp feet. The person who made this face story, what's the name? Okay, China. Oh no, this one is India. This one is India. This one is India. So, the men in India that made this handkerchief, as they were making it, were they saying anyone who uses this face towel on their face, they will get belly? Is that what they were doing? No. They made it for you to clean your sweat, right? But what converted this thing into a miracle mantle? Shout it very well. Yeah. This solved the problem of tongues for me. It has nothing to do with what you are sounding like. As long as you believe, you are generating power. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. But the body of Christ now sat down on how we are sounding. It's not sounding. It's not sounding original. Which one is which one is original? Which one is fake? My father's Kuria Masanda for 20, 20, 25, 30 years. I kept hearing what? Kuria Masanda. Demons were still responding. <laughs> Your one is Kalivanon Doria compressed. Nothing is moving. How do we sit down or how tongues is sounding? What matters is what? Faith. There's one guy's tongues that I, that I used to hear while on campus. His own was the most stressful tongues for me to believe. His tongues, everybody here can do it. Should I show you? I'll show you another time. <laughs> you want to hear it now? He will lift prayer. Lift your voice and pray. <laughs> louder, louder, everybody. I will just be looking at him like Holy Spirit, this one is tongues. <laughs> It was difficult for me to believe. But God's hand was upon him. You couldn't doubt that he was anointed. But what kind of tongues is this? Say, oh, wow. I'm complaining about my own. My own is even better. Let's go, Jerry. Let's fire on. Shekatele is much better than what? I have so far with Shekatele. Is someone hear what I say? Glory to God. I'm making it as simple and relaxed as possible. It's not complicated. What you're sounding like does not matter. What matters is that you what? Faith. That's what pleases God, not the sound of your tongues. Come on, is somebody here what I just said? It's faith that pleases God, not the sound of your tongues. I'm teaching this so you can go and help your brothers, help your sisters, help your cousins, help your parents, help your children. Get them filled with the Holy Ghost. Once I understood this, I went back to church. All, all children, four years and above, I said, come out before I count seven. The aunties were, he has come again. His own is always different. He will not let this one. I said, call them out. Come out from age four and above. Line up. I will never forget that day. They all spoke in tongues that day. Let me see you not speaking in tongues. You want to waste the time I've wasted? You first watch pornography. Start masturbation. Do everything to do, then come back and start confessing for the next five years. And struggling what's done to struggle with. From a young age, our children will have sense. Say the amen very well. I'm calling them children until they are adults. We're still calling them children. This is time for them to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Are you getting what I say? It's the time. If you have lost time, don't worry, you'll get it back now. That's part of what tongues does. Tongues buy you, buys you back your years. Start doing it for hours, doing it for hours, and you'll find that you'll buy back your time. Come on, celebrate Jesus, everybody. <laughs> you are here, and the devil is telling you that you are too dirty for the Holy Ghost to feel. Let me shock you. All right? When you go to the market and you buy detergent, do you come back home and wash your, your, your clean clothes? Huh? If you do that, then we need to pray for you, right? What do you go for? Your dirty clothes. Who will the Holy Ghost go to first? The person who needs to be holy or the person who is already holy? Do 
you are the first person we jump at. It doesn't matter where Satan wants to come from. He's a liar. Once Satan says that God will not feel you, what does that tell you? God will feel you. Because he's a liar. Just turn what he said upside down. If he says you will not succeed, you should start rejoicing. If you didn't know you succeed before, now you now know, right? But we always listen to him. That's the problem. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Join your hands together, everybody. Fire is about to drop in this place now. I will say it three times. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. You reply, I receive. You reply, what? Don't wait for me to get to you. Open your mouth by what? Faith. And start making those utterances. Start making those utterances. Are you ready? Some of you are already ready. If you want to jump in, jump in. You don't need to wait for me. Once I say receive the Holy Ghost, you reply what? I receive. Then by faith, open your mouth. If you can make contact with somebody, it will be good. I want the fire to jump from person to person. I want it to spread everywhere. Are you ready? Yes. Make sure your voice is the loudest. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. That's it. That's it. Parana kondu shente praka nustavia ko jefete. If you are speaking in English now, you are wrong. Switch by faith. Switch by faith. Kaliva mungra kastepa. Don't doubt it. Fidamanda krisha. Start to utter the words one by one. Pana adi atia ele. Step up by faith. Don't doubt it. Rondo dumaka junda krapa ta. Alter it now. Release it. Release it. Louder and faster. Louder and faster. Come on. Kara. Atim. Otim. Edia. Azar. Afia. Akama. Azana. Azile. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jokotom. Brokoto. Rapakato. Provodus. Lempana. Krashata. Kampra. Katapalua. Loud and faster. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Zinta la Prova Kotofre. Lift your voice. Lift your voice now. Open your mouth now. Begin to speak now. Open your mouth now. Begin to speak right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't doubt it. Open your mouth now and begin to speak now. Don't doubt it. Rababa, Tela Ratia, Tila Veb. That's it. Open your mouth now and begin to speak now. That's it. That's it. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Come on. Keep it up. 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 That's it. That's good. Come on. Louder now. Louder now. Don't doubt it. Rababatia. Feladido. Crescente. Don't doubt it. Give it voice now. Prevena. Sofida. Astida. Arato. Jacatecatecatecate. Aida. Asani. Edina. Abongra. Stomante. Somebody louder and faster. Jacara. Paraya. That is it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Rope Mikin. Tom Pro Santo Romba. Come on. Keep going. 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 By faith, step up by faith. Keep speaking. Jampe la tara tozi do koma. Don't doubt it. 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 Come on. Denarola iradila selapari arikana gina sana casa banda dina mepen dina mi ban dina masa kiri pekawas japre kista kata provania. Rabababababababakote, Krusty Kompoko Shato, Mante Kate Karakata Kata. Five more minutes, come on, thunder in prayer. 
Azakabraya, Ibirikinga, Aramba Baba Pakata Zana Karapa Patua. Dini mi ripi kiti kiti riki tika tika la kata kata raka kata 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 kira kata kata katoa matua tua kwa tua tua kwa sha kwa tua kwa da mata kata dakra kasta kata 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 tua asha kada 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 Yet tell her, don't let sit and tell you are saying rubbish. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. Speaking louder, 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 faster. Shakaladwa, repe, repete, Ortino, Shakapa. Keep going, keep going, keep going. For Vedino, Romba Vedino, Romba Vedino, Baba 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 I receive prayer power. Prayer power, prayer fire. Go 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 Come on, switch from English to tongue by faith, jumping, jumping by faith. Shepara, Ereke, Rekete, Setekete, Procosto, Topocona, Yante, Leketenda. One more minute. O tala nori de nio centeni me centi sofre cotelas. Ye che se te ka preka te reka te proko she ka le proka. Ishe li marumba rana mi daro proko se vurama ka. Ata di ka kasta no ba para shugi di vigi di poa. Shugi di poa. A shugi di poa. Aya gara pa pa praka shakada. Ya shara pa pa raba pa. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. 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 Jesus. Fire. Fire. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Fire. Aha, 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 aha. More, 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 more. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Legate ropo con sofro con to paruman. Ye bre fe sembro co pre vi ombre fe. Ye ra para pa shaka pra ka staka pra. Zigi digi 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 Shiggy, diggy, 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 yeah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fire is burning. 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 Shaka 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 la proka te proka to so. Yanga tala barabaka pube. Migi digi 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 digi
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you have spoken, raise your hand. You just spoke, raise your hand. Don't doubt it. If you spoke, raise your hand. Come on, celebrate Jesus, everybody. Glory to Jesus. Don't doubt it. 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 I'll tell you a very shocking story. I met a Catholic many years ago, 2015. And I prayed with her. She said the Holy Ghost had refused to fill her. And so I told her, that's not possible. Why? The scripture says, ask and you shall be what? I receive. There are people who have spent 21 days on mountain and did not receive. Because they did not know. It's not, it's not complicated. Open your mouth by faith and speak. There are people here doubting their tongues. It's simple. It has nothing to do with what they're sounding like. It has nothing to do with that. Open your mouth by faith. Give it the expression by faith. If somebody hear what I'm saying, that simple statement can take somebody years to understand. That's why we're praying for our eyes all day. It's simple. Stop wondering what you're going to say. Open your mouth and speak. That simple thing I'm saying now, some people are not getting it. Stop doubting it. Stop doubting it. Open your mouth and speak freely. It was this girl God used to, to, to help me understand this thing. I told her, go and stand like a Hagin stood and receive by faith. I won't lay hands on you. Who has read that book? How he received his own tongues? Nobody lays hands on you. He didn't fall down. Nothing spectacular. We are the ones making this thing over dramatic. We must push. We must fall down. We must cut out everywhere before we receive Holy Ghost baptism. Read the scriptures. Nobody fell down. The, real, the original Holy Ghost, the first, nobody fell down. There was sound. There was wind. Nobody fell down. They all received because they understood how to receive. Open your mouth and speak by faith. We have left the emphasis of faith and went and stood with the with uh, my own is lo, 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 my own is in the is it, I, Am I sure it's correct? What does that have to do with anything? Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Don't doubt it. This girl went the first time, opened her mouth and did what many of us do. As I was waiting for her, she came back. I said, what are you doing? Is there a demon somewhere hiding? I said, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Teachers are frustrated also. Teachings are frustrated in the body of Christ. We have made hard the simple road. She went and came a second time again, did the same thing. Then she asked me a question. Listen to this. I said, do you want me to go and be saying rubbish? I was about to reply her that no, tongues is not rubbish. The Holy Ghost said, tell her to go and say that thing she's calling rubbish. I will never forget. So I argued a bit with the Holy Ghost. Like, ah, are you? Ah. She said she wants to say, no, tongues is not. He said, tell her to go and say that thing she's calling. Did you hear what I just said? She is calling it what? rubbish. It was later he explained to me that she was calling... Okay, let me let me explain to you. You are speaking in tongues. What do your neighbors think you are speaking in this territory? Rubbish. What do you think you are speaking? Mysteries. What, what do you think you are speaking? What do they think you are speaking? What do you think you are speaking? Are you addressing the same thing or not? Uh -uh. Hear me very well. They are calling what you are doing what? What are you calling it? Are you are talking about the same thing or not? So what's the problem? With two different minds. Are you getting what I'm saying? One is a spiritual mind, one is a carnal mind. So later I understood all these ones. But that day I was arguing. Ah, this is not rubbish. He said, tell her to go and speak that thing she is calling what? Rubbish. So I told her that thing that you are calling rubbish, go and speak. And what happened shocked me. She stood there, lifted up her hands to worship God with the mind. Four languages came out of her mouth. I'm telling you. That's what led me to go to my church and gather all the children. Don't waste time. Come on, come on, come on, speak in tongues. I didn't know it was that simple. God did that as a sign for me. She spoke in German language, Russian language, spoke in Swahili, spoke in Chinese. 
I was so shocked. I even became jealous. I know I did. I believe God. Man was secretary for four years. Someone doubted you for five years, and now he's speaking literally four, 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 four languages. That day, God told me nobody born of God can open his or her mouth by faith and be saying rubbish. That ended the nonsense for me. I don't, don't stop wasting time. Open your mouth and speak. It's your language. You can't lose it. Ah, is somebody hear what I'm saying? It's been long. It's 10 years now. Over 10,000, 20,000 people have been filled with the Holy Ghost. Because I understood. Light is the difference between wasting time and jumping in quickly. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? One moment, lift your hands to God now and bless him in the spirit. Lift your voice everywhere out loud. Bless him in other tongues now. Be confident. It's your language. Lift your voice by faith and bless him. Focus on blessing him, not on what you are saying. Taluda la du ste la du an kam brakalia. Lea bian fisia tua gaja. Jara pasta kata bravin. Thank you for the blood. Oh Jesus, thank you for the sacrifice. Korana disai. Lemba kusti bino fido rapastata. Oh, blank refendre tempre dima mambro steroari. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Just place your right hand on your head, left hand on your chest. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this night. Just be silent now. The power of God is going to come upon some of you. Be still. Some of you feel like electricity. Some of you feel like heat. Some of you like cold. From the crown of the head to the sole of your feet. Angel of deliverance. Anyone here with any infirmity? Any stranger moving object in your body? Any man or woman claiming you are spouse in the spirit? Every foreign thing what our heavenly father did not plant but is inside your body right now at the count of three light exposes darkness and those contaminations are coming out one just be still please two you know this voice i command in the name of jesus power sponsoring delay Right now, right now, right now, right now, you devils of perversion. Right now, everybody shout fire. And be quiet. Right now, let that fire begin to enter into every vessel right now, right now, right now. And make your vessels uncomfortable in the spirit right now. Let it burn like fire. In your hands, in your legs, in your chest, everywhere. Let it burn. Now, 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 now. Those voices talking to you. Talking to you. Talking to you. Driving you crazy. Angels, identify those persons now. Those voices driving you crazy. Those voices telling you things. Telling you things. Telling you things. Voices in your head pushing you. Right now, I command you. Pack your load. Get out. 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 Who is it that speaketh and they come to pass when the Lord has not spoken? Fire! Fire. Right now. Fire. I release impartation. Grace for speed. Lord Jesus, on these persons who have been delayed, who need to cover the grounds. Right now. Let the angel of speed begin to minister to them right now. Let the hand of God come upon you like it came upon Elijah right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Take it, 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 take it. Recover now, 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 now. Fire. I release an impartation of sight now. Those whose eyes have been closed right now. I see in the spirit an eagle. 
and I see right now your prophetic eyes. Right now, your sight, your sight, your sight. Take it. Where are they? Where are they? Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take your sight now. Right now. Touch. 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 Take your dream life. Start to see and remember again. Take it. Take it. Angels, where are they? Take it. 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 I see a rod being given to somebody now. It's entering your hand right now. Dominion. Dominion. Victory. Victory. I see you legislating in your family. You are saying this and it's coming to pass over your household. Where are they? Angels right now. Identify them right now. And release the power of God in your direction right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Receive this now. In the name of Jesus. I declare over somebody's womb. Both spiritual and physical. Grace to bring forth children. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Grace to bring forth children. Bring forth nations. In the name of Jesus. Mighty men and women will come out from that womb. In the name of Jesus. Both physical and spiritual. In the name of Jesus. One more prayer quickly and then we're done. Then we're done. If you pray this one very well, your feedback will happen in the next 12, 24 hours. Declare hanging things. Arrive now. Delayed miracles. Arrive now. Every roadblock mounted against the arrival of God's promises in my life. Right now. Scatter. See the way you say scatter. Add violence now. Say scatter. Lift your voice. Lift your voice and scatter. 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 Scatter now. Can you add some violence? Scatter. The roadblock. Scatter now. Let the application pull through. Let the signature be appended. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I receive feedback from those that promise feedback. Those that chose to help me and now they have been discouraged. That roadblock that is preventing the arrival of help. Preventing the arrival of help. Scatter! I just had speedy help. Speedy help. That's for somebody. Speedy help. Oh my God. They will be in a hurry to help you. They will be, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. They will be in a hurry to help you. I hear settlements. Settlements. I decree it over somebody's marital life. Jesus, my God, over your spiritual life, I decree what you lost is restored. That sword that was taken from you now is restored. Your eyes are restored, your sight is restored, your heart for God is restored. Some of you lost that tenderness. You lost that heart you had, that large heart. Because things happen to you. I decree all the grounds you lost in your heart that hardened you, that, that caused you to be, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Tap this lady. The hand of God is upon you. Come closer. Things are changing right now. Close your eyes. Oh, those grounds you lost over everyone I'm decreeing right now. A ground you lost in your heart. They're not what you used to be. You don't even know how you lost it. But they're not who you used to be. Some of you have lost intimacy, fellowship with the Holy Ghost. You have been dry for so many years. No strength to do the things you know you should do. 
I decree over you now restoration. What you lost is restored. In the name of Jesus. I pray for this church and every church represented under the sound of my voice. Let there be an outbreak of the move of God. You will power this city. You will come in their numbers. In the name of Jesus. That fresh fire, more than more than has been in time past at a new level of fire a new intensity of fire be seen on this ground I release prayer power in the name of Jesus I'm seeing somebody in the spirit right now I link you up into the lineage of generals As God dealt with them, he begins to deal with you. Become the things you saw in the dream. Oh, your secret place is restored. I see someone like a Mary sitting by the feet of Jesus. And just fellowshipping. That place is restored. In the name of Jesus. But generation will not wait for you in vain. In Jesus' powerful name, we are prayed. Somebody shout three powerful hallelujahs. Celebrate Jesus, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's give God a hand clap. Hallelujah. Let's give God a hand clap. We can do better. Hallelujah. Let's stretch our hands to the man of God that God has used to water us tonight. Let's, let's stretch our hands. Let's stretch our hands. Let's just, just pray for a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Exceeding expectation will be his portion in the name of Jesus. It will go higher and higher. In the name of Jesus, open doors, open heavens. In the name of Jesus, angels, oh God, strengthening him and supporting him. Renewal of strength you heard that he has been prayer me, and that's and, and he's asking for renewal of strength. Let's pray that God will renew his strength like the youth, like an eagle. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Pray, let's give a hand clap unto God. Hallelujah, amen. Praise the Lord. I, I mean, when, when some people saw the flyers, they were saying, is he really coming? Praise God. And I said, wait and see. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we will still have many more visitations like this. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But before we go, maybe you missed the offering. You heard what the man of God said. You know, he said he was living with the anointing. And until he sold into the anointing, it didn't work for him. Praise God. I don't want us to just come and just hear and not partake of what happened on this ground. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I don't want us to just come and say it was a glorious night. We prayed and went away. Or went uh, go away. Praise God. Please, I want you to package a good offering. Praise the Lord. Sow into what you have heard. Be a partaker of what you have received tonight. Praise God. Sow something tangible. Sow a seed into this program. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just write your check to RCCG essay. RCCG essay. Write your check. Or Zell to, you can see it on the screen. RCCG essay at gmail.com. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. I don't know if the choir is still here. That they will just sing. As we take our offering, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They'll sing. I'll take our offering. I will call Pastor Mary. Praise God. I know. And I thank. I want to appreciate all the pastors that came from other ministries and other parishes. Some of them have left. Praise God. Pastor Afolabi. Let's give a clap unto him. What else? Well, the pastors here. Pastor Mary. And they put you. God bless you. Praise God. And all the pastors that are watching online. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Church members, God bless you. People that registered and came, God bless you. Praise the Lord. And if you came, Chick, Sister Chica, nice seeing you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Please, if you didn't, if you, I mean, if we didn't get your details, um, you can also, if you get the flyers, you can just scan so that we get your, your details. And anytime we have such a program, we'll reach out to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will call Pastor Mary to come and just uh, bless the offering and close us in prayer. Let's give a hand clap as she comes in. Let's give a hand clap. Let us just keep on clapping as she comes in. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Please let us uh, package our offering and give. So the seed. And the, 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 the seed will bring. We establish that miracle that we have received tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's rise up as we give unto the Lord, rejoicing. God loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. For his mercies. Father, we thank you for the offering of your children. We give you all that glory, honor, and adoration, O oh God. Many have given, O oh Lord, even online. Many have given through cash up, through self. Father, Lord Jehovah, we use this one as a point of contact for all the giving tonight. And we pray, Lord, according to your word, you shall give and you shall be given back. Lord, we receive back in thousandfold in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that this offering will be used in propagation of your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we sanctify all offering we sanctify our life in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you king of glory in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen closing prayer all the glory must be to our god for it is worthy of our praise. Oh, no man on earth should give glory to himself. Or oh, the glory must be, or oh, the glory must be, or oh, the glory must be. 
to the Lord. I'm so immortal, invisible, the only wise God. Daddy, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we appreciate you. We honor you for tonight, oh God. You have done it again. You have moved mightily in our midst, oh Lord. Using your son, Father, we glorify your role in him. Thank you, Jehovah El Shaddai. We worship you, oh Lord God Almighty, for the opportunity to gather. Thank you for all the life that you have imparted, oh Lord, wonderfully, gloriously tonight. Father, we pray that all this miracle shall be permanent in our life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This meeting will transform our life oh God. We will move us closer unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will launch us out even to bring souls to your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we pray one more time for your son that you have used, O oh Lord. Father, continue to increase in him more and more in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord, for St. Lord Assembly, King of Glory. Ramos, Kita, Yadaba, let them go from strength to strength, from power to power, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, yes, eyes, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. King of Glory, as we go, please let your abiding presence go with us. Let our step be unto life and not unto death. Father, come your face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us and we will serve you to the end of our life in jesus most precious name we have prayed amen please let us share the grace of fellowship with the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely god goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will join the presence of God doing his will forever and ever. Amen. Salam. God bless you.